Anytime you get both anthems, that is a treat. Sung by the best in the business, Mr. Jim Cornelison. Let's get to the starting lineups. In goal for the Ottawa Senators is Matt Murray, 1-1-0 in his career against the Blackhawks. At defense are Artem Zub and Thomas Shabbat up front from left to right. Brady Kachuk starts at left wing. Josh Norris will center the Sens opening line. Starting at the right wing is Drake Batherson. For the Blackhawks, it's Marc-Andre Fleury starting in goal. 17-10-2 with one shutout in his career against the Ottawa Senators. At defense are Calvin DeHaan and Seth Jones. Up front from left to right, Brandon Hagel starts at left wing. Jonathan Taves centers the Hawks' opening line. Starting at the right wing, Ryan Carpenter. Our referees tonight are Mark Jonette and Brad Meyer. The linesmen are Bevan Mills and Mark Shuchik. And we'll see how the Hawks take to this one. They're going to have their hands full because this Senators team, they're young and they're feisty and they're fast and they've got a fair amount of skill. We'll see how it ends up. Opening faceoff won by the Hawks and right away Seth Jones will pump it down the boards into the Senator zone. Here's Batherson carrying it out of the Sens into center ice. Flips it down to the right wing corner Hawk zone. Calvin DeHaan and Brady Kachuk arrive at the same time in behind the Hawk net. And now DeHaan takes the puck. Put it around to Tave up the right wing side. Rink wide pass up the left wing Hagel. He'll drop the puck back into the Hawk zone to Jones and over to DeHaan. Then to Hagel. Short of the Senator line. Lost the puck. Taken back by Tim Stutzla, first round pick of the Senators in 2020 from Germany. He moves it between the circles there to get it, Thomas Shabbat, who gobbles up the ice time for the Senators. He leads the NHL in average time on ice. Back in the Hawk zone, Patrick Kane reemerges with the puck. Derek Gustafson through center to Connor Murphy over the Senator line. Back to Gustafson for the left wing boards. He sends a tumbling puck in on goal. Turned wide, and now in behind the Senator net. Dominic Kubalik checked off the puck, flows out to Murphy, high slot to Patrick Kane. He's tripped, and no penalty call there. Kane looking at both referees as if to say, what? Into the Hawk zone. Here's Stutzla down the left wing. He couldn't get a shot away because Murphy dove out on his belly and knocked the puck free. Stutzla got it back in the corner, passing to the high slot, picked off by Dominic Kubalik, and he'll flip the puck to center ice to Patrick Kane. He'll stick it back down in behind the Hawk net to Gustafson get off on a change as the Hawks regroup. Yeah, I just caught him. I got to look at the replay of that from the monitor, and that was a clear trip on Patrick Kane. I don't blame him for kind of standing there like, what happened? But the ref missed mm-hmm. that one for sure. They'll break it to a loose puck left wing corner. Senators own leaves it there for Mike Hardman. Here's Hardman battling with Chris Tierney of the Sins. Hardman put the puck down in behind the net, then runs into Tierney in the near corner. Tierney put it up the, the right side of the ice. And it's taken by the Senators' Tyler Ennis, who flips the puck into the Hawk in. Hawks clear there in. Quick pass, Jake McCabe to Alex Debrinkit over the Senator line. And winds a wrist shot over the net. This puck into the far corner, picked up by the Senators' Josh Norris. He'll carry to center ice. Detroit area native. Flinging it down to the left wing corner. Hawks zone. then centers. It's over Batherson's stick. And the puck banks out of the near corner down behind the net. And Twistle put it away. The left wing corner. Look out. Centered by Norris. Took a chuck. He fires from the left circle. Turned out of there by Fleury. Norris from the right point now. Moves it over to the left point. And the puck is taken and snapped back across the rink. That by Connor Brown. And we get a whistle stopping play as the puck leaves the ice surface. So 17 21 left in period number one, no score. Yeah, Marc Andre Fleury in net had a fabulous game Saturday, 36 out of 37 shot. He is who's hot for the Hawks right now, and that is sponsored by Plumbers 911 Chicago. Visit plumbers911.com for emergency plumbing service. Draw to the left of Marc Andre Fleury. Dylan Gambrell to face off against the Hawks, Dylan Strom. Draw one by the Sens. And Artem Zub firing from the right point. That deflects into the right wing corner in the Hawk in. Calvin DeHaan trying to wedge it out of the zone. Kept in by Logan Shaw on the right corner. Hawk in. He'll reverse directions. Head back toward the point. Sweeps the puck down behind the net. Winds around to Zach Sanford from the left wing boards. He centers and Fleury alertly knocks it out of the crease. Loose puck taken back by Sanford near the right point. To the line to Zub. Moves it to the left circle. Here's Shabbat moving toward the net. Now carries in behind. Now tried to center off the back of Fleury. And Fleury was wise to that. He knocked the puck below the goal line. But Fleury loses his goal stick. Here's a shot now from the line from Shaw. Deflects off the end boards and away. And Entwistle will lead the rush for the Hawks to center ice. Mackenzie Entwistle flipping the puck down the boards. And down behind the 
Ottawa net, taken by Connor Brown. We have two Browns in this game, both play for Ottawa. Now the puck there to center ice by Gambrell, taken in front of the Senator bench by Jonathan Taves. He'll wind it down behind the Sens net. Winds around to the left point, Brandon Hagel to the high slot, Taves. Fans on a one-timer. Puck ricochets to the right point, Connor Murphy got it there. Down to Hagel, right wing corner. Hagel carrying up the board toward the point. Leaves it there for Murphy. Stutzla beat him to it, though, however, for the Senators. And then Taves took it away to Carpenter, right circle to the slot. Hagel, shoot! Big save made with the pads by Murray. But what a great chance for Brandon Hagel. Really? And a great feed by Taves. You're right, John. What a nice little three-man game working in the corner. Carpenter gets it over. After Taves kind of wins the battle on the wall, he gets it to Carpenter. Carpenter finds... Finds uh, Hagel coming down the slot. Murray, who is back in the net for the Senators, their number one goalie back in net, got his first real challenge of the period and answered it. He's coming off of injury, is Murray, and uh, Senators organization very quiet about it. They do not wish to disclose. That's that's their right. You know, face-off will be their own, right? Yeah. Face-off circle to the left of Murray. Hawks control. Jake McCabe from the left point. Snaps the puck down behind the Senator net to Dominic Kubalik. He left it in the right wing corner for Kirby Doc, who flipped it back behind the net. Shabbat will take the puck out for Ottawa. Clearing the center ice. McCabe's got it. Put the puck ahead for Kubalik. He'll chop a bouncing puck over for Patrick Kane at the Ottawa blue line, but this is taken back by Shabbat. And he'll back up into the near corner in the Sens end. Move it around up the left wing side. And Nick Paul there for Ottawa. Back over to Shabbat. He'll carry up the right wing to center ice. Flings it down the boards in behind the Hawk net. Rides around into the far corner. Seth Jones got it there for the Hawks. Muscled into the boards, but moves it ahead to Philip Kurashev. To Mike Hardman. Lost it at the line. Stutzler the other way down the left wing. Short angle shot. Oh, and Mark andre Fleury hit his knees and took that one in his chest. And the other way come the Hawks. Kurashev to center ice on the left wing. Winds the puck down the boards into the corner where Hardman, with a big body check there, on Senators defenseman Nick Holden, but the Sens come back up ice. Look out, racing into the Hawk zone. Here's a shot from Alex Formanton. That's knocked out of there by Marc-Andre Fleury. How Formanton got that free and open is beyond me. Now back inside the Sens end. Murray plays the puck off the end boards. Around it goes to Josh Brown. And now Josh Brown at the Ottawa Blue Line will give it over to Victor Mete, formerly of the Montreal Canadiens. Back to Josh Brown. Head to Tyler Ennis at the Hawk line on the right wing. To Chris Tierney in the right wing corner. Coughed up the puck, however. And Patrick Kane waves it behind the net. Over to Isaac Phillips. Now ahead to Kirby Dock, Senator Blue Line. He backhands the puck into the Sens end. Picked up now in behind the net by Mete. And he'll fling it down ice. And this bounces in on Mark andre Fleury, who will hold it beside the Hawk crease. We get our first whistle. 13.58 left in period number one. Hawks and Senators, no score. They're going to keep it right here because that was dumped in from center ice. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Formenton, yeah, you talked about his <clears throat> his speed. It looked like DeHaan kind of got caught a little flat-footed, and Formenton really showed some really good jets there, but a nice save by, by Fleury. It looked wow. like he tried to go five-hole there. Uh, Mark Andre Fleury with a huge save for the Hawks early on. You see how fast he got through that center? Was, he had a the jet Hawk coming in. at him. Yeah, Man. that was amazing. Kid can move. There's Murray now handling a puck in the center of crease after it had been shot down. Murray put it away up the near side. Artem Zub will clear to center ice. Here come the Senators in mass. In over the Hawk line. Here's a shot from Shabbat and a nice save by Murray, or excuse me, by Flurry with the pads. Doc tried to lead Kubalik up ice with a pass. This deflects away and the Senators get it back. Artem Zub to Drake Batherson who was born in Fort Wayne, Indiana. His dad was Norm Batherson, who played for a while for the Fort Wayne Comets of the old IHL. And now in behind the Senator net, Nikita Zaitsev, formerly of the Toronto Maple Leafs, shot the puck ahead to flex in behind the Hawk net. Fleury gave it away up the left wing side to Carpenter. And Carpenter moves the puck ahead for Taves into the Senator zone, taken back by the Sens and cleared to center ice by Holden. Carpenter's got it right back. Carpenter backhands the puck deep into the Senator zone to the left wing corner. Races in on Zaitsev, but Zaitsev put the puck over to Holden far corner. He'll pass ahead for Logan Shaw at center ice, who backhands the puck down behind the Hawk net. Look out. Calvin DeHaan didn't see one of the Senators coming. And Zach Stanford took the puck away. Then he lost it off a poke check there from Reese Johnson to center ice. And Josh Brown will fire it back down into the Hawk zone. 
Here's the Hahn putting the puck between the circles to Reese Johnson. Head to McKenzie and Twistle over the senator line on the left wing. He'll spin it down in behind the net. Oh, and then Reese Johnson with a pile driving hit on Mete in the far corner. But the Sens come back up ice. And now lose the puck into the Hawk zone. McCabe will whack it behind the net. Isaac Phillips now getting himself free from Connor Brown. They move it ahead into the senator's own end. Twistle to the slot. Dylan Strom shoots. It's blocked. And Strom had a great chance there. The senators get the puck back. Carrying up the right side to center ice, big Nick Paul. He'll fire the puck down into the Hawk zone. And it rolls behind the net up the far side. McCabe gave it to Kurashev to Strom at the Hawk line. He had it knocked off his stick back into the Hawk zone. Phillips will recover. Here's Isaac Phillips playing in his third game so far. Had two pretty solid games in his debut in Carolina and St. Louis. And now he gets the stick up into the face of Formanton. And this is going to cost the young defenseman for the Hawks. He'll get the gate for two minutes. We'll have a Senator power play when we return with 11.35 left in the first. No score. This is Blackhawks Hockey on 720 WGN. Power a house full of devices with the fastest Wi-Fi only from Xfinity. Now through October 31st, ask how to get a special offer of $300 back when you get gig speed internet. Or get started with up to 50 megabits per second download speed for $20 a month for 12 months with a one-year agreement. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless filling and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. New performance starter internet customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gig internet and XFi gateway. Actual speeds vary. DHL Roofing is hosting a hiring event on November 3rd from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. at 7400 Shadeland Avenue in Indianapolis, Indiana. DHL Roofing is rapidly growing and are currently hiring outside sales representatives who are confident, determined, and aggressive. You can make up to six figures just in your first year. DHL Roofing also provides excellent benefits, including health, vision, dental, life, a generous 401k match, and so much more. For more information, visit DHL Roofing on Facebook today. As a technologist, you know better than anyone how red hot the tech job market is right now. Frankly, you've never been in higher demand. At Dice, the premier career marketplace for technology professionals, we want to be more than just your guide to finding your next role. We're your trusted partner in finding the job you've always wanted and your source for growth, connection, and inspiration throughout your career. Visit us at Dice.com. Lou Manfredini helps you around the house Saturday morning starting at 6. Back at the United Center, 11.35 left in the first period. Hawks fans, the all-new official Blackhawks app is here. Connect with the Blackhawks all year long with your team content and perks for app users, breaking news, real-time statistics, and more. Plus, make your in-game Experience as seamless as possible with mobile ticketing, food and beverage express pickup, and other game day guides. Visit blackhawks.com slash app to download now. Senators two for six over their last two games on the power play. They control the puck off the draw. Here's Josh Norris flipping it back to the right point to Shabbat. To the top of the left circle, Stutzla. It's worked out in front for Kachuk. He fires and down is Flurry to stop it with the pads. Puck is then flung down ice by Connor Murphy. Yeah, really dangerous. Quick passing from Shabbat down low, and Kachuk has had a couple nice looks early on. Lucky Hawks, he's not converted. Batherson sends Stutzla in over the Hawk line. Left wing side to Shabbat, left point. Works it to the right point. There to get it, Norris. Norris now on the right wing corner. Here's Josh Norris beside the right wing circle against the boards to Shabbat at the line. To Stutzla, coughed it up in the high slot, taken back by Shabbat, over to Norris, and he'll drive one from the right circle over the Hawk net, off the glass and around to center ice. Now we get an offside play here by Norris at the Hawk line. One of the Senators on the far side of the ice, Batherson, could not clear the zone quick enough. Yeah, a lot of skill out there. Young skill right now for the Ottawa Senators on this power play of the Hawks. You know, on that first play, man, they made a couple really quick passes. And got a chance, Mark andre Fleury there. And then Josh Norris, pulling on so hard, missed the net. Luckily for the Hawks, it went out of the zone, and then he kind of had a little miscommunication with his teammates, tried to bring it in too early and caused an offsides. You got Kirby Dock facing off for the Hawks here against Chris Tierney of the Sins. Tierney, by the way, a good penalty killer, but he's out now in special teams on the power play here. Now Tyler Ennis gave up the puck down the boards into the far corner Hawk end, and without hesitation, Seth Jones will swat it down ice. 52 seconds on the Senator power play. 
Artem Zub at center ice. Five seasons over in the KHL before joining the Senators. Lost the puck now. And Debrinkit will spin it down into the Senator zone. Ennis moves it between the circles to Zub. Ahead to Brown. And over the Hawk line. This is Connor Brown. Popped up the puck. Pushed out the center ice. Senators get it back now with 29 seconds. Zub backing up in front of his net. Here's Zub between the circles in the Ottawa zone. He'll start it up and drop it in his blue line to Connor Brown. Connor Brown sends it ahead for Tierney over the Hawk line. Right wing side, but he's defended by McCabe and had the puck stripped away by Taves, who clears it down. Ten seconds left on the Sens power play there in their last rush. Yeah, kind of a tail between two different units for Ottawa. That first unit was really dangerous. This one, the Hawks are doing a really good job, not even really letting them enter the zone, getting clears without any pressure. Zaitsev fires it down behind the Hawk net. Phillips is out of the box, and he recovers the puck off the stick of Fleury. Passing to center ice to Kubelik. In over the Sens line. Here's Kershaw with a shot from the left circle. It's off the end of the glove of Murray. Now Brown and then actually Zaitsev will clear to center ice in front of the benches. Seth Jones tried to send it down ice. This ends up deflecting back in behind the Hawk net. Jones there to scoop it around but not out. Kept in by the Senators. And then Formanton will flip the puck down in behind the Hawk net. Jake McCabe's got it for the Hawks. Leaves it between the circles for Seth Jones. Hawks in the line chain. Jones to Kubelik at center ice. Flipped it to the Hawks, the Senator zone. We get a whistle as the puck is poked back to center and Kane brought it back into the Senator zone, putting the Hawks offside. No score with 8.50 left in period number one here at the United Center. Hawks and Senators. This is Blackhawks Hockey on 720 WGN. Say, play WGN Radio and connect to Chicago's very own WGN. It's been said that in a forest of 100,000 trees, no two are alike. And it's in this natural beauty that TimberTech finds inspiration to create lifelike reflections of the look of real wood found in our high-performance decking products, perfectly capturing natural beauty without ever harming nature itself. TimberTech offers the real look of wood without ever compromising quality, performance, longevity, or design. All so you can build an outdoor space unlike any other. TimberTech. Go against the grain. Get up to $210 off a set of four tires after rebate at Bell Tire's one-day Sunday sale. But it's just one day, Sunday, October 24th. Plus, get tires as low as $45 after rebate. Get up to $210 off four tires at Bell Tire's one-day Sunday sale, October 24th only. Get the lowest tire price, period, and get up to $210 off at Bell Tire. Buy and schedule online. Spend less time in store. See storebelltire.com for details. Installation at a later date. The magic of the toy book is here at Meyer. Buy two, get one free when you mix or match board games like Monopoly, Uno, or Clue Giant Edition. And as always, grab grocery staples at great prices, like Coca-Cola or Pepsi 2-liter bottles. Buy two, get one free, plus deposit where applicable. And Jack's Frozen Pizza, four for $10. Plus, save $15 on your first Meyer home delivery or pickup order of $75 or more with code FIRST15. Great prices are endless at Meyer. Exclusions apply. See all the deals in the Meyer app. My fiancé surprised me with an engagement ring from Shane Company. A simple solitaire ring with a beautiful oval diamond. I love it. I had a vision of what I wanted to do with the wedding bands to create my own look and add even more sparkle. Shane Company has so many options, so it was easy to bring it to life. I got two bands. I selected a diamond contour band to go on one side of my engagement ring and a delicate vintage band to go on the other. It's a unique ring stack, and it fits my style. It's totally me. My fiancé got his wedding band at Shane Company, too. I had no idea what he'd gravitate to because he never wears jewelry. He tried on lots of rings. Turns out, he really liked a black tantalum band. It's masculine and unique, and it suits his personality. The wedding is really soon, and I can't wait to wear my gorgeous new rings every day. Now you have a friend in the jewelry business. Shane Company and Shaneco.com. On Sunday, November 7th, the Blackhawks will host the annual Native American Heritage Month game spotlight as the team takes on Nashville. We invite fans to join us for special performances from our broader Chicago community during our land acknowledgement and honoring veterans and active service members from the Sac and Fox Nation of Oklahoma and Potawatomi Nation during the National Anthem. Visit Blackhawks.com to learn more. That should be a fun night. 
And what a terrific way for the organization to honor as the puck deflects up and out of play, but the indigenous people of North America. You know, they were here long before anybody came over from Europe. And uh, I don't know if you've had any kind of personal experience, but they're wonderful people. They yep. really are. So that's going to be a fun night, and hope everybody will join us for that. And I think it's fantastic that the Blackhawks organization recognizes them as well. I mean, uh, you know, every game. They really do. And if, you, if you've never been to a Blackhawks game, well, if you haven't been in the last couple of years, uh, you haven't been, had the opportunity to see how they do honor them on the board here with it's about a, like a one-minute video. It just It's very, very cool, very interesting, and, and educational, so very cool. Murphy carries into the center zone, and we get a whistle for offside. You had Brandon Hagel busting down the left wing just a half step ahead of Murphy. We'll just make sure he doesn't pull a groin there. He's trying to drag that back leg as long as he yeah. could to stay on side for Murphy. Just wasn't able to hold it, but I'll take him an offside over him getting a groin injury. See, I was that guy <laughs> that when I tried to straddle the blue line, I lost it. Like, I completely flapped out on the ice and just did kind of a helicopter spin better safe than sorry yeah and you know typically there was there was laughter you know generated later in the dressing room i didn't care i had fun here's Taves stripping the puck away from a senator at the left point leaves it for mccabe look out long <laughs> shot to flex off of batherson stick and up into the protective netting yeah it's, hey it's a hockey game if you can't laugh if you can't have fun in the locker room what are oh, what are you doing out there so if, if you gotta you do or i at some point i'm sure was Everybody's been the brunt of a, a joke or two or a funny play on the ice, and oh, yeah. hey, you got to have fun with it. You, you give it and you give it and you get it back a little, and it's all in good fun. Yeah, the guys I play with, they don't miss a beat. <laughs> they don't miss an opportunity. You have a folk a skate or lace comes on oh, tight out there, right? It, that's you know that's going to make the the gathering afterwards <laughs> out by the you know the, the patio out by the rink. And lately, we've had some good good gatherings, a lot of fun. Senators attack, Sanford down the left wing, toes dragging a shot, and a kick save made by Fleury, and another save by Fleury in the butterfly position off of a one-timer by Zub, and the puck deflects back down ice into the Senators' zone. Kubalik chasing down Shabbat, nearly guilty of a penalty, but was not called. And now Sanford, who came over from the St. Louis Blues in a trade for Logan Brown in the preseason, will slip it behind his net and back down ice into the Hawks' zone. Quick pass by DeHaan up the left wing to Doc. Into the Senator end. Wedged off the puck there with a chuck from Josh Norris. Senators come out, led by Batherson. Flying through center, in over the Hawk line down the left wing. And a wrist shot sails wide. And this just starts the Blackhawks breakout, but nobody is there to pick up the puck. Holden got it back. To Norris, Hawk line left wing. And he'll spin the puck down behind the net. Ends up in the near corner. Murphy got it there for the Hawks. Over to Gustafson. Lead pass for Entwistle misses. There's a race to the dots in the Ottawa zone, and it's won by Zaitsev. Icing called against the Hawks. No score. Yeah, this line for Ottawa, you're seeing some, some youth, some speed, and the size. I think that's what's happening in the NHL right now, or it's been happening. But the size of these guys and how fast they can go oh, is yeah. just incredible. It's scary, too, when you think about it. Back in the day, you know, back when you can hook and hold and slow guys right. up like a defenseman, part of his job was to get in the path of a, an aggressive forechecking forward so that he couldn't just absolutely land based your, your, your teammate with a body check. Well, now you can't do that, so these guys are just flying through the ice, and man, you got to have your head up for sure. Back at the center line, puck taken by Josh Brown, moves it into the hawk zone to Stutzla, and he fired it across the rink. This deflects away to Entwistle to center ice. Therese Johnson at the Senator Blue line near the right point. Fires a long shot. Stick save made by Murray. And Twistle took the puck back. Spins it down behind the Senator net. Around it goes to the break at left point. Flips it to Kurashev. Right circle. Kurashev now. Put it behind the net. Hardman. Fed it through the crease. This slides out to the right point. And Isaac Phillips could not hold it in the zone. He has to carry to center ice. Now quick transition for the Hawks. We get an offside at the Senator line as Hardman played a puck that had then played in, just too hard to explain, folks. Trust me, it was offside. 5.54 left in the first. Hawks and Senators, no score. This is Blackhawks Hockey on 720 WGN. So then I dropped some garlic and croutons on there, and the rest is salad history. I made the best salad ever, people. And now I'm making the best app. The Caesar Sportsbook app got live 
in-game betting, parlays, and season rewards. Season salad ain't got nothing on my app. Nothing! Must be 21. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-9-WITH-IT. Download the Caesar Sportsbook app. Your app is ready, Emperor. More for your money. It's a touchdown of savings at Andy Moore Ford. And we're kicking off the season with 0% APR financing on all new 2021 Ford F-150s. We make it easy to find the perfect truck at Indiana's largest Ford dealer for 20 consecutive years. Find your Ford this football season online at andymoreford.com. Stock number T35411. Zero down payment. 72 monthly payments at 1389 for 1000 borrowed. $199 fee excluded. Must finance through Ford credit financing. See dealer for full details. Expires 10 2021 Based on total rental and car truck sales. Report on new Fords in Indiana for 2020 for Ford Motor Company. Bob Surratt, your four-hour energy drink. Five until nine. Now, back to the game. Hawks fans, it's great to be calling Jonathan Taves and Patrick Kane, right? We both got them back both in the lineup. And every goal and assist by both of those gentlemen this season is sponsored by ChevyDriveChicago.com. Check out Chevy Shop Click and Drive. Shop online 24-7 at ChevyDriveChicago.com. Well, the draw is just going to be outside the Senator Blue Line at center ice. And one by Kirby Doc to Jake McKay. Steps into the Sens end. He's hit by Zub as he dumps the puck down the left wing boards. And behind the net, it goes around to Kane along the right half boards. And he'll backhand it back in behind. Artem Zub took it. Shot it to the Hawk blue line. Puck taken by Dominic Kubelik. Over to Phillips. And then he mishandled the puck. Racing in to poke check it away. The left wing corner was McCabe. Now Doc reaching in. Works it free to McCabe. Put it through his legs, but picked up by Ennis. To Zub at the line. Deep slot. Leaves it there for Shabbat. He moves it into the right wing corner, Hawk zone, to Tierney. Tierney now to Tyler Ennis. Ennis walking it along the goal line toward the net, jams one on goal, but Fleury got in front of that with a chest and just shut the door. In the meantime, Phillips will fling the puck down ice deep into the center end. Kane gives chase on Shabbat, who is able to elude Kane and stop with the puck behind the center net as the Sens regroup. Here's Shabbat between the circles now to Batherson at center ice. Fires the puck down the right wing boards and in behind the hawk net it goes to Fleury. To Seth Jones far corner. Pass up ice for Taves is off his stick. Now to Hahn recovers. Quick pass on the right wing to Carpenter. Pats it out over the center ice circle. Zaitsev took the puck back for the Sens. Flipped it into the hawk zone along the near boards. De Hahn kept it away from Kitschuk. Put it ahead at center ice to Taves. Flips it into the center zone. Left point. It's in his skates. Hagel pulls it out of there and then Hagel is jostled by Holden and the puck Deflects to center ice, taken back by DeHaan. To Jones in the Hawks zone, to Taves over the center line. Drop pass, Hagel moves in, fires, and that deflects up into the protective netting. Ryan Carpenter going hard to the net, maybe to create a screen or look for a rebound. I have loved his play on this line the last couple of games. Yeah, he knows his role, right? He's the guy that, he's the hardworking guy. Let those other skill and speed guys do that. And what that also created is when Brandon Hagel had that, Seth Jones kind of came in late. And that opened up a good 15 feet at the top of the circle. And that's all Carpenter going to the net hard, creating space for other guys. Here's Strom winning a draw to Augustuson left point. Fires a sharp angle shot. And it hit one of the Hawks in front. That's Reese Johnson. Johnson took it back to Augustuson. Hammers one for the left point. Missed the net. Ricochets off the end boards to Sanford. who put it out to Gambrell at center ice in front of the benches. And then he lost the puck to Augustuson. To Strom over the center line down the left wing. Tried to fight off a check from Josh Brown and could not. Now Victor Mete in the near corner. Driven into the boards with a solid body check from Reese Johnson. Puck deflects to the Hawk blue line. And now Gustafson's able to keep it away from Logan Shaw. But the Sens get it back. Here's Brown for the right point with a shot. Strom got a stick in there deflecting it away the left wing corner. Artem Zub there to Shaw. A long shot from the left point. That deflects off the side of the Hawk net. Gustafson will sweep it up the right side to Reese Johnson, short of the Hawk line. Rink White pass for Murphy, pounds it to the center line, taken back by Zub to Brown over the Hawk line. Connor Brown spins it down toward the net, and Flurry will poke the puck away to the near corner, and Brown put it back in behind the Hawk net. Murphy whacks it up the right wing side to Hardman, who sent it across the rink. Here's McCabe at center ice up the left wing. He'll spin it down the boards and in behind the center net. Round it goes to the far corner to Hardman. Pokes it back in behind. Ends up at the left point. Dabrinkit got it. Long wrist shot. And it looked like it hit Kurashev in front. Dabrinkit again for the slot. Lost the handle. Here come the Senators. Here's Brown into the Hawk zone. 
Hands it off in the right wing circle. A centering attempt by Nick Paul never got through. And now a stretch pass from McCabe intended for Debrinket. Broken up with a diving play there by Tim Stutzler. We get a whistle, and this will be brought back into the center zone in the circle to the right of Murray. Yeah, a couple of good things I saw out there. Eric Gustafson not wasting any time, getting the puck to the net twice, almost in consecutive plays. And then a guy that stood out to me in a couple different ways, Reese Johnson has had it. Two, two really good hits. You can hear him, I'm sure, on the broadcast. Sure. And then... Also made a really good play, chipping the puck out of his own and gave the Blackhawks a two-on-one earlier. So Reese Johnson doing a little bit of everything right now for the yeah. Hawks. Had a chat with Reese Johnson on the road. Great kid. And his coach and junior in Red Deer was Brent Sutter, the former Hawk and Islander. We got a whistle-stopping play as the puck is deflected up into the Ottawa bench. But he credits Brent Sutter with developing him not only physically but mentally for the NHL game. And so kudos to Brent Sutter. And by the way, Brandon Hagel and Reese Johnson were teammates at Red at Red Deer for a couple seasons. I mean, you could see both of them kind of have that same mentality. Maybe Brandon Hagel has a little more maybe offensive upside, but they both are hard workers, skate well, and are very physical players. Hawks control off the center ice faceoff. Calvin DeHaan at the Hawk blue line, left wing side, now in front of the penalty timekeeper's bench, coughed up the puck. Dominic Kubalik swats it just across the center blue line. Batherson will pick it up and carry. Batherson moving the puck ahead to Brady Kachuk, who drops it into the right wing corner Hawk zone. Murphy and Batherson go shoulder to shoulder, and the Hawks end up with a puck. Kane flings it ahead at center ice to Kubalik, hustling into the Senator zone, held up by Zaitsev. They shoulder one another, and the puck is poked free behind the Senator net by Doc who then rides himself into Kachuk, who spins the puck around. Here's a shot now from Murphy, stopped in front. Doc's got it. Doc behind the net now, around to the left circle. Fed the slot to Kubalik, a one-timer. And that was blocked by Norris, who's puck to the left wing boards. Batherson, near corner, center zone. Wraps it behind his net, not out. Seth Jones from the right side boards. Leaves it there, Patrick Kane. Sweeps the puck left point. Gustafson whips it over to the right wing corner. There's Hagel. To the line, to Jones, to Gustafson, moving down the left wing, to Kane, right circle. Kane drops it off the tapes, coming off the bench now to Jones, left circle to Kane, a one-timer from the left circle, high and wide. And then Norris tried to clear the puck out. That clearing attempt hit Gustafson along the right boards. Leaves it for Hagel, who put the puck down behind the Sens net to Taves. Handed it back to Hagel. Hagel knocked down. Taves is able to work the puck free. Now Kane steals it in the right wing corner. Rolls into the right circle. Then away to the half board. Kane for the right circle. Sharp angle shot block. Rebound. Score! Brandon Hagel! From between the circles in the Hawk zone. Perfectly positioned to pick up a rebound. And when he got it on his stick, he didn't miss. And the Hawks take a 1-0 lead. What a, a great effort by the Hawks. And the best part of that was they did this against the Ottawa top line. They ran them out of energy. The Hawks were able to make a change. The only guy that stayed out there was Patrick Kane. And why wouldn't you have to stay out there? But Taves and Hagel were come on mid-shift. The Ottawa centers were tired in their zone. They kept working it around. Taves, Kane takes the shot from the right circle. It kind of ricochets off of a, it does go off of Ottawa. Defender goes right to Hagel in the slot. He buries it for a 1-0 lead for the Chicago Blackhawks. So it's Hagel, his second on the season from Kane at 19-11 of period number one. It's the Hawks' one and the Sens' no score as we rejoin the play. Now at the Hawk line to break it. Snares a loose puck and he'll skate it to the Senator blue line. Dumps the puck off the right corner boards in the Ottawa zone. Mete got there in front of the Hawks' Hartman and put the puck up the left wing side all the way down into the Hawks' zone it goes. Murphy racing with Tierney, reaching around him, pokes the puck free to break it. He'll wind it behind the hawk net. Puck rides around to center ice. Carpenter's got it into the senator's zone. Fights off a couple of checks, flips it in behind the net. Murray tried to clear it out, but moved it to the near corner to Brown. And he'll pound it ahead at center ice. Here's Ennis to the hawk line. A long snapshot as it's turned aside with a stick save from Marc-Andre Fleury. And listen to this crowd applauding the Blackhawks' effort. They're going to take a one to nothing lead into the dressing room after 20 minutes. John, that goal, time to break out the Bandito. El Bandito, Yankee tequila, so smooth. And not what a great sign to see is Patrick Kane on the ice with the assist on that goal. And that is sponsored by ChevyDriveChicago.com. Check out Chevy's shop. 
Click and Drive Shop online 24-7 at ChevyDriveChicago.com. I haven't seen a second assist awarded on that goal, and I'm thinking it's going to be Gustafson, but because I think he was the one that was able to work the puck free, but it might be Jonathan Taves as well. So Jonathan Taves, we find out, did get the second right. assist. So, so good we'll, work by Joe Brand. So we'll, Thank add, you, Joe. we'll add Taves to that read, both Kane and Taves. It's so yeah. good to call both of them on one. How great Fantastic is that? to have it. All right. So one nothing Hawks. They were outshot by Ottawa 13-8 to in period number one. And again, Marc-Andre Fleury coming up big, keeping his team in a position to take the lead, and they eventually did. Oh, yeah. They, Ottawa Senators came out flying, especially that Norris line, really hot. Brady Kachuk had a couple great eight chances, but this is what you this is what you signed the big man for, sure. right? To make those saves. Sometimes I mean the Hawks weren't bad early, but they did they caught an Ottawa team coming flying at them. And Mark Andre Fleury had made some huge saves, and then at the end of the period, the Hawks started getting their momentum back. And then that shift at the end was great. Not only did you score on them, but you scored on that top line that's so dangerous. All right, let's go downstairs and join our guest in between periods. It's Isaac Phillips and Isaac John Weideman along with Paul Capanigri here for Chicago Blackhawks Radio. Very happy to have you along. Hey, man, this is your third NHL game. You had a debut in Carolina. You had, uh, I think, a pretty good test in St. Louis. Actually, both of those games were pretty good tests, and I thought you played pretty well in both. How do you like playing in the NHL? <laughs> it's the best thing in the world. Uh, yeah, two pretty good teams to start off my career, but, you know, I love the challenge, and I thought I played pretty well. You know, just the biggest thing for me is just keeping it simple. Isaac, I think a lot of, I mean, most guys get asked this question when they, they get elevated to the, you know, the big leagues, or in this case, the NHL, but what do you see so far as is the biggest challenge or difference um, from coming up from the HL to now in the NHL? The biggest thing I notice is the transition game. You know, a lot of the game in the minors is spent in the neutral zone, and I find here it's just so quick through the neutral zone you're either in the o zone or in the d zone so just adapting to that and really getting back to pucks quick is the biggest thing isaac how special is a game like this tonight for you i know you're uh, an, an ontario native you played your junior in sudbury and when you play a canadian based team that just got to give you kind of a, an extra lift right yeah definitely motivation's high you know the boys are motivated looking for our first win and uh, it's great for me to play the first home game and uh, i love the crowd so excited to get going right. for the rest of the game Isaac, I wanted to ask, because I heard you had a great interview about how, you know, you told your family about, your, you know, when you got the call, uh, they were able to make it to Caroline and all that. How, how great was it with seeing them after that experience? Yeah, they were able to fly out in the morning, and then I actually, they were at the stand at the same hotel as us, so I got to see them before the game and after, so it was great, just uh, all smiles. Well, Isaac, I, I can't wait to call your first NHL goal. Why don't you go get that tonight? That way we can get that out of the way. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'll get right on that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being our guest, Isaac. We'll do this again. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thanks, Isaac. Blackhawks defenseman Isaac Phillips. I like the way that kid's playing. Great to see. Great interview, too. Absolutely. one nothing in favor of the Hawks after one period here at the United Center over the Ottawa Senators. Joe Brand is standing by in Blackhawk Central, and he'll have a full intermission report. That's going to be followed by second period action with the Hawks in the lead. one nothing over the Ottawa Senators. This is Blackhawks Hockey on 720 WGN. That's for you. Answer the call from patients who need plasma. Donations are down, so give plasma at a Griffles Center and receive compensation. Visit grifflesplasma.com. That's the sound of one of my favorite customers ever. His name's Jeremy. His dad, Frank, called me when it was time to replace their drafty old windows and to take advantage of our limited time sale. As a dedicated Pella advisor, I make getting new windows and doors simple. And when it comes to installation, nobody does it like Pella. Our local team can typically install in just a day. Right now, you can elevate the look of your home with special offers from Pella Indianapolis. Visit PellaIndianapolis.com slash radio to learn more. Arby's Chicken Cheddar Ranch Sandwiches are two for six every day of the week. For some people, just hearing the words ranch and chicken are enough to make them want two of them for six bucks. Well, okay then. Ranch, 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 creamy, ranch, cool, ranch, ranch, chicken, chicken, two for six. Arby's, we have the meat. At participating Arby's for a limited time. 
the best wing joints all know they need a buffalo wing and a hot honey wing sauced and tossed to order. They also know they need a solid crinkle fry and a drive through and a signature roast beef and a logo that's a big red hat and a... Oh, is that just Arby's? Well then... Follow along, wing joints. This is how it's done. Arby's new $5 boneless wings and crinkle fries. Arby's, we have the meat. At participating Arby's for a limited time. The holidays are here, and so is the road trip ready checklist to get your vehicle ready for them. Advance Auto Parts has everything you need to knock out that list and make it safely over the river and through the woods. An oil change bundle with a premium filter. New wipers so you can see the road and a free battery test to make sure your vehicle can handle the cold. Bring your road trip list across the finish line at Advance Auto Parts and participating CarQuest stores. The holidays are doubly important this year, so make your celebrations doubly special. At Kroger, we've got a huge selection of high-quality meats on top of fresh, natural produce, like fresh, never-frozen prime-grade beef and our Simple Truth Organic Brussels sprouts, or delicious king crab legs with our private selection gourmet potatoes. Whew, had to say that doubly fast. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Get more ways to save at the Buy 5 or More Save $1 each sale. Just buy five or more participating items and save a dollar each with card. Kroger, fresh for everyone. It's time for an intermission update. Here's Joe Brand. Ottawa outshot the Blackhawks 13 to 8 in that opening 20 minutes, but the Blackhawks with the only goal. Brandon Hagel, his second of the year, a one nothing lead after the first period here from the United Center. As the Blackhawks are just one of three games tonight, the Tampa Bay Lightning currently leading the Washington Capitals two to one. They're through two periods down in Florida. The only other game later on tonight, the Seattle Kraken visiting the Edmonton Oilers for the first time in their franchise history. One other note for the Blackhawks today, uh, just a few hours before the game, they announced they'll be postponing Marion Hossa's legacy night, which was originally scheduled for Tuesday, November 9th. Their statement from the team, after further discussion between Danny Wirtz, Jamie Faulkner, and Marion, everyone has agreed that this is an important time for our organization to reflect rather than celebrate. Marion and the club's leadership team all know we must build back our community's trust as we ensure accountability within our organization following Kyle Beach's courage in coming forward. Our new leadership team is committed to upholding our values and always working to better this organization and our game as we move forward. Some other scores. Uh, how about the Chicago Bulls right now? 5-1, and one, but they're trailing the Boston Celtics in the third quarter. That third quarter just beginning. Celtics leading 72-59. to 59. Monday night football, the New York Giants trailing the Kansas City Chiefs 7 to nothing. They're about done with that first quarter over on the gridiron. Some other news in the sports world. The NCAA has suspended Illinois center Kofi Coburn for the first three games of the season for selling apparel and memorabilia three days before the new regulations that now allow athletes to participate in money-making ventures went into effect. And also head coach... For the Bears, Matt Nagy calls Sunday's situation where he had to sit and watch the game due to being out with COVID a really weird situation that he doesn't want to be in again. The Bears lost to San Francisco last night, 33-22, with special teams coordinator Chris Tabor coaching the team. We'll take a break, and when we come back, we'll break down that first 20 minutes that has the Blackhawks ahead, one nothing. You're listening to Blackhawks Hockey here on 720 WGN. Surat, it's WGN, the original social media. Sometimes the front lines are in our own backyard. Soldiers in the South Dakota Army National Guard stand tall for their communities. Be the first sight of hope to those in need. While serving, you'll also be earning a paycheck and receive job training in exciting fields, including science, communications, engineering, and medicine. Boost your eligibility for a high-paying and rewarding profession, and you can get it all while helping close to home. For more information, visit NationalGuard.com. Meet Caitlin and Adrian, a just married couple that loves each other almost as much as I love windows. As a dedicated Pella window and door replacement advisor, I help guide them through our quality options and decide on the right choice for their style and budget. Right now, you can elevate the look of your home with special offers from Pella Indianapolis. Visit PellaIndianapolis.com slash radio to learn more. Imagine a deck. What do you see? A bunch of straight, parallel boards. One plank exactly like another. On and on and on. Sure, they're evenly spaced. 
but so are prison bars. Break free with TimberTech's high-performance multi-width decking. Innovative technology that produces the most lifelike look of real wood anywhere. So you can create a real wood look inspired by the latest design trends. Instead of, you know, Alcatraz. Start dreaming today at TimberTech.com. TimberTech. Go against the grain. A 1-0 lead for the Blackhawks, 20 minutes into this one against the Ottawa Senators. I'm Joe Brand. You're listening to Blackhawks Hockey here on 720 WG. And not only do the Hawks have a 1-0 lead despite being outshot in the first period tonight, they've actually been outshot in the first period 45-22 to in their last three games. And now they turn the tables against the Ottawa Senators. We're going to bring in Paul Capanigri up here in the United Center. And Paul... <laughs> Okay, I, I'm going to start with an Ottawa Senators fan tweet talking about how the Ottawa Senators played about 18 minutes in 15 seconds of some smart road hockey, and 45 seconds goes the Blackhawks' way. They lead one nothing. But you know what? This is them giving the other team a taste of their own medicine. From number 99, Chevy Silverado is one tough customer day in and day out, and it's Danimal tested. Go to ChevyDriveChicago.com and shop, click, and drive a Chevy Silverado All-Star today. It's go time. Wouldn't, and this time it finally paid off, and it's great to see. Another solid 20 minutes for Marc-Andre Fleury doing some quick math in my head. 49 <laughs> saves in his last four periods. Oh, he was sharp early because they had some really good chances, and I, those pads of his, you know, he's kind of gone that old school way, but they are loud. Yeah. And you could hear some of those pad saves he made. Maybe he did it on purpose. He's like, I wanted them to know I'm making some <laughs> nice right and leg saves. Um, but he was sharp early, ex- pretty much exactly the same as it was in St. Louis. The only f- big difference is the Hawks were able to get a lead late in the period. We could also hear Kirby Doc talking about how promising it would be to have Patrick Kane in the lineup today. Here's what he had to say earlier today. Yeah, it's super good to get him back. Um, obviously, with COVID protocols and everything, he's feeling healthy. and uh, It's just good to have him back in the locker room and on the ice. So it's obviously a big boost to our team. So we knew that Patrick Kane was going to be a little bit of a spark plug in five on five. But I kind of like how you broke it down. You know, that that uh, sequence, that shift for Ottawa was so tired. It's almost like the Blackhawks were in a power play situation in that instance. I think a little when you get tired, you try to just not make a big mistake. So you try to maybe stay inside and keep the puck away on the outside. But you make when you get tired in any sport, you, you make mental mistakes. Then you start getting tired. And you'll start making mental mistakes because when you're worried about how tired you are, you can't think as as sharply as you want to. You're thinking about, can I get me off the ice? So I, it's just good to see the Hawks finally, you know, take advantage of that. It does, yeah. It's not going to always happen, but it hasn't happened yet, and they've had a lot of chances to do that. And it's finally to see, good to see them convert. The Blackhawks are still searching for their first win. Let's see if they can help their cause in the second period. We'll have that next. You're listening to Blackhawks Hockey as they lead Ottawa one nothing. Here on 720 WGN. The Blackhawks, Wildcats, and the NFL play here on AM 720. On smart speakers, say play WGN Chicago. Jake and Christine knew they needed help renovating their dream home. As a Pella advisor, I make sure every step of getting new windows and doors is smooth, including setting you up with our Pella Care Guarantee. It covers everything from product to installation with some of the strongest warranties in the industry. Right now, you can elevate the look of your home with special offers from Pella Indianapolis. Visit PellaIndianapolis.com slash radio to learn more. Get up to $210 off a set of four tires after rebate at Bell Tires One Day Sunday Sale. But it's just one day, Sunday, October 24th. Plus, get tires as low as $45 after rebate. Get up to $210 off four tires at Bell Tires One Day Sunday Sale, October 24th only. Get the lowest tire price, period, and get up to $210 off at Bell Tire. Buy and schedule online. Spend less time in store. See storebelltire.com for details. Installation at a later date. The holidays are doubly important this year, so make your celebrations doubly special. At Kroger, we've got a huge selection of high-quality meats on top of fresh, natural produce, like fresh, never-frozen prime-grade beef and our Simple Truth Organic Brussels sprouts, or delicious king crab legs with our private selection gourmet potatoes. (laughs) Had to say that doubly fast. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Get more ways to save at the Buy 5 or More Save $1 each sale. Just buy five or more participating items and save a dollar each with card. Kroger, fresh for everyone. 
Technologists, this is your moment. Every organization out there needs you, and it's time to think about what you want. You know, the job you've always dreamed of? It's out there. And DICE, the premier career marketplace for technology professionals, can help you land it. Visit us at DICE.com to learn more. This episode is made possible by PwC. The future calls for digital transformation you can trust. That's why the new equation is business-led and cloud-forward, using secure technologies to drive tax-efficient solutions for today and tomorrow. It's how people and technology work together to transform transformation. See how the new equation is building trust and security with the latest tech at thenewequation.com. Period 2. The second period is next. Here for a recap is Joe Brand. Again, the Blackhawks weren't sure if they were going to have Patrick Kane for this game till just a few moments before puck drop. Patrick Kane surely have elevated his game in the first period, had an assist on the goal, who elevated their game in the first period. It's sponsored by Access Elevator. For residential elevators, stair lifts, or wheelchair ramps, go to allaboutaccess.com. Kane was placed in the lineup to hopefully help the offense, and he did so. Kane for the right circle, sharp angle, shot block, rebound, score! Brandon Hagel from between the circles in the Hawk zone, perfectly positioned to pick up a rebound, and when he got it on his stick, he didn't miss. And the Hawks take a 1 0 lead. Hawks with a really good sequence of keeping it in Ottawa's end. Jonathan Taves, Brandon Hagel, and Patrick Kane, all with just little extra efforts to help keep the puck in that zone. It's Hagel's second goal of the season. Taves picks up his fourth assist. Patrick Kane, his fifth in his first game back since being on COVID protocol. And also, Brandon Hagel's second goal in the last three Blackhawks games, guys, is a one nothing lead for the Hawks. We don't often see this ha- handing off the broadcast to John and Paul with a lead. Let's see if they can add to it. I'm going to do my very best, Joe, to protect this lead. Me too. I know Paul will. So we got that commitment going we'll for us. John uh, do a squat at the blue line like he does in his men's league games. <laughs> or a flop. Have to. Yeah, flop. A big squat. belly flop. Squat like, sounds better. Yeah. I, I don't no, know. I, flop is better? I, I could probably pull every <laughs> muscle from my belt line down. I just don't want to even try that now. Uh, but I'm pretty good at falling, Paul. I mean, you should see it. I, so I you think blo- I, you're a good shot blocker then. I've got, oh, well. <laughs> By accident, yeah. Hey, nobody, hey, no. nobody needs to know that. <laughs> okay, it counts. He blocked one. Who cares how he did it, all right? And like a goal, nobody sees how. They ask That's how right. many. Phil, es- Phil Esposito used to say, hey, they all look like slap shots the next day in the line and, score. And he had a few. Mm-hmm. So, sure did. Listen to him, for sure. All right, one nothing in favor of the Hawks as we get set to start the second period. And the same group that started the game will start the second period. Brady Kachuk, the younger of the Kachuk brothers. His dad was Keith Kachuk, former teammate of both Troy Murray and Eddie Olchuk. And we're underway here in the second period, and the Hawks will control off the draw. Seth Jones, a quick pass up the right wing to Carpenter. He's hit by the aforementioned Brady Kachuk almost into the penalty boxes. Senators get the puck back, and they come out. Into the Hawk zone. Here's Norris with a toe drag. Top of the left circle. Then he lost the puck. Carpenter the other way to Seth Jones. Put the puck in over the center line to the left wing corner to Hagel, who has to fight off a check from Zub. And the puck is taken, spun around, and out to center ice by Shabbat to Batherson into the Hawk zone. We're going to get a penalty here to the Ottawa Senators. Holding will be the call. I thought this was going to go to the Hawks. I was just going to say that. I, w- I was like a 50-50 kind of one. Well, there it is. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Because it kind of looked like Murphy might have held him a little bit as they battled, kind of held his stick. But no, uh, they're going to take the Senator to the penalty box. And the Hawks are going on the PP. Drake Batherson's going to get the gate. The penalty at 38 seconds of period number two. Gives the Hawks their first feeling good Sitco power play of the night. And from the draw on the Senators' own, the Hawks control. And then Jones went to receive a pass at the left point. That from Debrinket. And the puck deflected off of his stick blade and down beside the net. Fleury took it carefully back into the trapezoid area before passing to Jones. Jones carries to the Hawk line, drops the puck to Patrick Kane. To Debrinket through center ice and over the Predator line to Taves' left point. Drops it there to Jones. There's Jones leading the Hawks in scoring with seven assists. Now he put it down to the corner to Brinkett. Fished it out, fed it up the slot. There's 
Jones to Kane right circle. Back to Jones at the line deep slot. Back to Kane right face off dot. Kane now creeps out top of the right circle. Tried to flip it in beside the net. Taves. Taves gave it back to Kane in the right circle. He lost the puck to the near boards. Carpenter will chip it down in behind the center net. Taves took it away from Zaitsev. Did it brink it left wing corner to Jones left point to Kane. Top of the right circle. On those a shot and a blocker save made. Loose puck beside the net taken by Debrinket. Pats it to Kane, back of the net to the right wing corner. To Jones, right point, down to Kane. Kane beside the right circle to Jones, high slot to Debrinket. Flipped it across, Kane will now receive the deflected puck at the bottom of the right circle. Taves back in the net to Debrinket. From the left circle, he fires it through traffic and wide. Ends up at the right point, Seth Jones held it in with a nice play to Kane. Here's Kane, right circle to Taves beside the net. Put it in front, Carpenter jams on a rebound, score! Patrick Kane! He ties Steve Larmer for third all-time in Blackhawks history with a power play goal. And the Blackhawks lead the Senators 2 to nothing. Great puck movement by the Blackhawks there. And then some nice little passes down low, under, under pressure, chipping it to each other. And they just waited out the Senators there. Patrick Kane gets a rebound. He puts it to his backhand. And as an empty net, he's got to put it through a, a defender's skate in front. But he's able to do that as he's always been. And the Blackhawks take a 2-0 lead on the power play. So for Kane, that's his second on the season. Also second on the power play. The goal at 2:09. And I mentioned him tying Steve Larmer for third all-time in Blackhawks history. Patrick Kane here tonight with a goal and an assist. is now one point behind Dennis Savard for third all-time in points in Blackhawks franchise history. Congratulations to Patrick Kane. Absolutely. And with that goal, it's time to break out the Bandito. El Bandito, Yankee tequila. So smooth. And again with a Patrick Kane goal. That goal is... Sponsored by ChevyDriveChicago.com. Chevy sh Chev check out Chevy Shop, click and drive. Shop online 24-7 at ChevyDriveChicago.com. Now the draw to the right of Murray. Controlled by the Hawks. Here's McCabe at the blue line. Flinging the puck off the left side boards. And down behind the center to net. It goes to the right wing corner. Dug out by Mete. Moves it ahead and then picked off at the blue line by Reese Johnson. Tried to flip it in deep to the corner, picked off by the Senators. Mete with a pass ahead. Tierney into the hawk zone, left corner. Sharp angle shot, turned out of there by Fleury. Then a follow-up shot was blocked by McKenzie and Twistle. That originated from the right point from Josh Brown. And the puck is played down ice by Entwistle. Senators come back into the hawk zone. Bailey, excuse me. Ennis will put it down behind the net. Around it goes out to the left point, and Tyler Ennis there to get it. Flips it back in behind the Hawk net. Phillips swats the puck free for Kubalik in the corner. He can't clear it out. Phillips again hit behind the net. Moves it around up the left wing to Dylan Strom. He waved that the puck could not clear. Now Jake McCabe with the puck behind the Hawk net as the Hawks regroup. McKay with a pass up the right side. Reese Johnson, Hawk blue line. Will drop it back to Jake McCabe. Thanks a pass up the right side. Picked off by Shabbat of the Senators. Head to Sanford in over the Hawk line on the left wing. Caught from behind by Kirby Dock, who spins the puck behind the net into the far corner. And Dylan Gambrell battling for the Sens. Got the puck to Logan Shaw, who tried to feed it back to the point. Picked off by Brandon Hagel, who draws a penalty from the Senators. Artem Zub interfered with Brandon Hagel as he flipped the puck in behind Zub and then tried to skate around him and go get it. And Zub will get the gate. Hawks will get their second feeling good Sitco power play. Yeah, like you talked about before, how hockey used to be played where you could interfere and, and hook a guy. Well, Brandon Hagel chips it by Zub, and Zub tries to take him out and interferes with him. I mean, I, I, I thought he might have thought it was 2002 when the rules were different, but you cannot do that in the National Hockey League anymore. Brandon Hagel using his speed doesn't stop his feet, which helps make the call a little easier for the referees, and the Hawks go back on the power play. No face off inside the center zone. The circle to the right of Murray. Hawks control. Jones at the left point. To Kane, top of the right circle. Back over to Debrink, and he'll fire from the top of the left circle. And that slides through the crease and wide and around the boards and back down ice to the Hawk blue line. Seth Jones there to get it. Banks it off the boards in front of the Senator bench to Taves. Hands it off to Patrick Kane. To Debrink, it cutting in over the Senator line. Tried to split the defense and then pass the puck off. And it's taken away along the far boards 
by Brown, Josh Brown, he'll fire it down. 130 in the Hawks' second. Feeling good, Sitko, power play. And Brinka takes a handoff at center ice from Jones. Quick pass to Kane over the center line. To Taze along the left boards. Back to Jones left point. To Carpenter right point. Leaving it there for Debrinkit. Put it to the line. Deep slot Jones to Kane. Top of the right wing circle. Sent it toward the net. Block. And the puck picked off and cleared by Mete down ice into the hawk in. Yeah, I'm sure Patrick Kane would have loved to get that puck a little bit in the air with a signature soft pass. Here's the break it into the center of the zone. Fed the left circle. Hagel shoots. Murray down with a butterfly save. Gambrell came along and got the rebound, and he'll clear it all the way down. Yeah, oh, a little hesitation by Hagel. I think he might have lost control of that a little, and it caused him maybe to take a shot and put it in a spot that he maybe wasn't looking for. Here's Gustafson dropping the puck to Kirby Dock. Hawk blue line. Skates it ahead, got it to Hagel over the center line, right wing, put it in on goal. Stick save made by Murray. Loose puck batted out of there, that by Josh Brown, and then ends up down on the Hawk zone. 30 seconds left on the Hawk power play. They're getting some chances. Quick pass by Gustafson to Kubalik over the center line. Down the right wing. He fends off Brown and one hands a backhander on goal. Six save made by Fleury. Hawks get the puck back. Strom right circle to Gustafson high slot. Fires one down toward the net. And turned out of there by Murray in the butterfly position. Nine seconds on the power play. Doc's got the puck back of the center net. To Strom now in the right circle. Moves out and fires. And a blocker save made by Murray. Senators come to full strength. Now the loose puck turned over. Zub's out of the box. And he'll just watch his teammate Brown into the Hawk zone down the right wing. Here's Brown behind the Hawk net. Feeds it out in front. Deflects off of Strom skating down below the goal line. And Connor Murphy will pick up the puck. Racing around at the right side. He'll clear to center ice, forcing the Senators to regroup. Really good entries like you talked about. Getting chances off those entries on the power play. And if not, they're setting it up for future potential. Batherson into the Hawk zone. Spins it down to the left corner. Kachuk to Shabbat left point. Moves to the right point And a long wrist shot from Zaitsev to flex wide of the Hawk net. Flurry had turned the wrong way. Uh, now at the, Hawk li- at the Hawk line, this is Josh Norris. To Batherson along the right boards. Spun it in front. Kachuk knocks it out of there to the line. Kept in, though, by Shabbat left point. Down to Kachuk left wing corner. Bangs with Gustafson. Took the puck. Spins it to the line. Shabbat will fire toward the net. And that hit the skates of the Senator forward, Josh Norris. Gustafson behind the net to the loose puck. Will spin it around the boards down to the Senator blue line. Mete there with a pass up ice to Kachuk. Hawk line. Flings it down the boards behind the Hawk net. Murphy in the near corner. Put it back behind the net. Gustafson. Quick pass up the left wing. Philip Kurashev at the Hawk blue line. Tried to spin it across for Reese Johnson. Picked off by the Senators. Mete moves ahead into the Hawk zone. And Twistle will clear it off the boards down to the Senator blue line. Sends get it back. Stutzla in front of the benches. Ridden into the boards and down to the ice he goes. Gustafson at the Hawk line. Sends it ahead. And this hits Tim Stutzla. And ends up in his equipment. The puck just literally disappeared. 12.33 left in period number two. It's the Hawks two and the Senators no score. This is Blackhawks Hockey on 720 WGM. More for your money. Andy Moore. It's a touchdown of savings at Andy Moore Forge. And we're kicking off the season with 0% APR financing on all new 2021 Ford F-150s. We make it easy to find the perfect truck at Indiana's largest Ford dealer for 20 consecutive years. Find your Ford this football season online at andymoreford.com. Stock number T35411. Zero down payment. 72 monthly payments at 1389 for 1000 borrowed. $199 fee excluded. Must finance through Ford credit financing. See dealer for full details. Expires 10 4 2021 Based on total rental and car truck sales. Report on new Ford's Indiana for 2020 for Ford Motor Company. That's the sound of one of my favorite customers ever. His name's Jeremy. His dad, Frank, called me when it was time to replace their drafty old windows and to take advantage of our limited time sale. As a dedicated Pella advisor, I make getting new windows and doors simple. And when it comes to installation, nobody does it like Pella. Our local team can typically install in just a day. Right now, you can elevate the look of your home with special offers from Pella Indianapolis. Visit PellaIndianapolis.com radio to learn more. Arby's Chicken Cheddar Ranch Sandwiches are two for six every day of the week. For some people, just hearing the words ranch and chicken are enough to make them want two of them for six bucks. Well, okay then. Ranch, 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 creamy, ranch, cool, ranch, ranch. Chicken. Chicken. Two for six. Arby's. We have the meat. At participating Arby's for a limited time. 
Join me, Anna DeVlantis, weekdays 1 to 4 on 720 and smart devices everywhere. Now, back to the game. Blackhawks have teamed up with Fifth Third Arena, the practice home of the Blackhawks, to create a memorable pregame experience for your game day, including a tour of the Blackhawks locker room, pregame buffet, John's favorite, open skate, and a guaranteed gate giveaway. Less than 300 spots remain. Visit blackhawks.com slash tickets to secure yours. Never met a buffet I didn't like, bud. I don't know. I, if the buffet had lima beans, I just couldn't do that. My mom <laughs> so tried there, to serve so me there lima is. beans. <laughs> okay, so I, there is I just, something. I just can't. It's the texture. I just can't eat lima beans. <laughs> I don't know. If for anybody out there Note that to loves self, lima I won't beans. bring my, my famous homemade dish yeah. with lima beans. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> I won't bring it on a, to a game night. <laughs> even, if they're, even if they're crushed, I can't eat it. It's just like, ugh, just the consistency. <laughs> Here's Calvin DeHaan for the Ottawa Blue Line Fires, and that was tipped on the way in by Kurashev, turned wide. McCabe with a puck right point to DeHaan, left point. The high slot to Brinkett, to Kane rolling through the deep slot. Kane now over to the left wing board, sets up McCabe, left point. To DeHaan, top of the right circle, back to McCabe, closing in. Put it over right circle, Kane. It's like the Hawks are playing keep away from the Senators here. They had to check to make sure they weren't on the power play. Yeah. And now the Senators get the puck back. Tim Stutzla, the native of Germany, will move it over to the far side to Zub, who put it ahead to center. Ice picked off by Kurashev. He'll fire it down ice and right down in on Murray. Center to goaltender, put it away to the far corner, then up the boards to Taves. Taves works the puck free. Carpenter to Hagel, to Taves. Top of the left circle, Hagel left corner. Tried to center the puck, bounces free. Hagel got it back and wipes it to the end boards. Artem Zub took the puck away. He'll pass up the right wing side, and Connor Brown flings it down ice into the Hawks. No, we're going to get icing. And the Senators were hurriedly trying to get a line change on after that dump in, and very easily could have been guilty of too many men on the ice. Yeah, because it was happening right in front of their bench. So it's, you know, it's, it's that tricky thing where, okay, did I get, a, you know, do I come on? Because I don't want to get caught. I want to get out there to yeah. get to my position so we don't give up breakaways, but I also don't want to touch the puck or accidentally and then get too many men. We've seen that on the Blackhawks a few times. So Nick Paul against Jonathan Taves on the draw. Taves wins it back to the left point. Good play by Isaac Phillips to use his skates and keep the puck in the center zone, but it's now taken back by the Sens. Here's Paul, the center ice, chipping the puck down the left wing boards deep into the Hawks zone. Another quick line change by the Senators. Here's Isaac Phillips tracking back through center ice and firing the puck down the boards. And in behind the center of net, it goes into the near corner. Nick Holden the back in behind his net. Around it goes up the far side, and the Sens come out led by Gambrell. Over to Holden, Hawk line left wing. Holden put the puck into the left wing corner in the Hawk zone, and it's dug out by Hagel. Bank pass up the right side, misses Doc, and slides right down in on Murray in the center to crease. Doc in to wedge the puck free. Lost it to the far boards. Uh, now it's taken there by Connor Brown. He'll flip it out of the Hawk line. Zach Sanford works his way past Murphy to the right wing corner. Then Murphy caught him and put the back into him. Knocked him off the puck. Doc will move it ahead to Dominic Kubalik up the right wing. Now to center ice to Kane. Pokes the puck down into the center zone to the right wing corner where Doc and Victor Mete became entangled. And Mete was able to poke the puck free to Batherson, center ice, into the Hawk zone. Drake Batherson firing for the right circle over the net and up into the protective netting. So we get a whistle with 9.45 left in the second. It's the Hawks 2 and the Senators no score right back after this on 720 WGM. We could use a laugh. I'm John Williams. I've got your speed jokes tomorrow morning at 9.40. When it comes to working at GEICO, our best advocates are our employees, like Michael. But since he is so focused on growing his career, we hired an actor to read his story. If you want a job where you get out as much as you put in, GEICO is the best place to work. Plus, we promote from within, so there are no ceilings placed on your opportunities. They even offer parental leave to full-time employees. So there's nothing stopping him from going all the way to the top. But not too high. He's scared of heights. Ready to start your career indie? We're hiring claim sales and service agents. Apply online today at geico.job. And now, breaking news from migraine sufferer Whoopi Goldberg about Nurtec ODT Remegipant 75 milligrams. I got big news. Now Nurtec ODT is the first and only medication proven to treat and prevent migraines. This is big time. Don't take if allergic to Nurtec ODT. The most common side effects were nausea, stomach pain, and indigestion. For important safety information, prescribing information, and patient information, visit Nurtec.com. 
Ask your doctor about NERTEC today. NERTEC, baby. That's for you. Answer the call from patients who need plasma. Donations are down, so give plasma at a Griffles Center and receive compensation. Visit grifflesplasma.com. Your friends are hosting an online viewing party to watch a soccer match. But if your slow upload speeds were to make you sound like an evil robot... Pass the ball! Pass the ball! Whoa, who is that? I'm uh, sorry. You're not an evil robot. You just need better internet. AT&T Fiber delivers a faster internet experience with 25 times faster upload speeds and cable. Visit att.com slash 25 times faster. Limited availability in select areas. Based on Internet 1000 wired upload connection speed versus major cable providers. One gig service with uploads of 35 megabits per second. Restrictions apply. Make our way back to the United Center. 9.45 remaining in the second period. The Chicago Blackhawks with a 2-0 lead over the Ottawa Senators. And Hawks fan, the, these Blackhawks will be right back here on Wednesday night to face the high-flying Hurricanes at the United Center. Yeah. United Center. Secure your seats at blackhawks.com slash tickets. That is the team you want to watch. If you're, if you're into watching... You know, good teams coming into town. That is one of the best in the league. And you said high flying. You're not kidding, buddy. That team can fly. You know, into the center zone. Kurashev from the left circle. Rips a shot in on goal. In and out of the glove of Murray. Hawks get the puck back. Seth Jones closing in. Got it over. Left circle for Hardman. Looked like he caught a stick in the face. He stays in there. Now the Han fires from the line. That was blocked out high by Brady Kachuk. Kurashev then sticks the puck to the near boards and ascends in and works it loose to the near circle. Shabbat clears to the line, kept in by Seth Jones, left point. Down to Debrinket, feather right circle. Kurashev put it over and a shot from Hagel from the, actually Hardman from the left circle. Sails over the net. Here's Mike Hardman with the puck along the right wing board, Senator zone. Send it down to the corner to Debrinket, battling with Shabbat. And now Batherson to the loose puck will work it ahead to center ice to Kachuk. And he'll spin it down the boards and deep into the hawk zone and get off on a chain. Yeah, pretty Kachuk almost looking like Marty Brodeur with a kick save yeah. at the point. Unbelievable. The superstar does all things. Kane sends Taves over the Predator line down, or excuse me, the Senator line down the left wing. He put the puck back in front for Kane. It's over his stick. And cleared down ice by Tierney. We got a race to the dots. Isaac Phillips of the Hawks wins the race. And icing is called here against Ottawa. Yeah, I'm glad the ice was ending there because Ennis yeah. was looking like he was about to pull ahead. But Phillips got there. And, and when it's a tie, it generally goes to the defenseman. So luckily, Phillips was able to get there. And the Hawks go down the other way. And I want to go back to this one play with, with Seth Jones, right? He gets the puck at the top of the slot. And he's got an open shot. I know what he was trying to do. He saw a backdoor play. But... At this point right now, keep mm -hmm. it simple. Get that puck to the net. That was a pretty good scoring chance he had. I get what he was trying to do. He saw a guy sure. in the backside. Would have been a pretty play, but as a very low percentage play as opposed to putting that puck right on net, look for rebounds or scoring on it. Well, coming into the game, he led the Hawks in shots on goal, but so far no luck. Now at the Hawk blue line, Senator Alex Formanton was held up there. I'm surprised there wasn't a holding call, but none made. Here's Taze the other way. Into the Predators, the Senators on. I knew he'd do it. Down the right wing. Now to Kane. Right circle. Backhand shot. Murray is down with a butterfly save, and he'll hold the puck. We'll see the Predators soon enough. 7-5-7 seven, seven left in period number two. 2-0 two favor the Hawks. Yeah, I don't know maybe if this is a, a full-time thing, but right now that last shift was Taves at center between Kane and Hagel. So that's something maybe they'll look forward to if, you know, uh, what used to be the what, what was that called the uh, the ultimate lineup when you when when the Hawks maybe needed a win really bad they put Kane and Taze on the line together right. they'd load them up and uh, so we'll see if that keeps continuing but that was the line coming on the ice for the Hawks right last now the centers get control of this draw there in and Zach Sanford will skate at the center ice and flip it down off the right corner boards into the Hawks zone for Logan Shaw back to Sanford moves into the line a long shot by Zaitsev blocked in the slot. Puck taken back, and a shot now from Nick Holden from the slot to flex away to the far corner. Strom will backhand it behind the Hawk net to the near corner to Murphy, who made a pass up the right wing for Reese Johnson, and he'll deflect it down ice into the Senator zone. Carpenter finishing his check back there on one of the sends. That's Zaitsev. Senators get the puck back, and they'll clear their end. Holden putting it ahead at center ice to Shaw in over the Hawk line to the near point. Kubalik sweeps it off the stick of the Senators' Josh Norris, and down ice it goes into the Senators' zone. Sends get it back and come out. Shabbat 
through center ice. Put it in over the Hawk line on the right wing to Kachuk to the half boards. Now to Shabbat behind the net. Jams it into the crease. Knocked out of there by Fleury. Shabbat takes the puck back. Sends it left point. Batherson a long shot. Butterfly save made by Fleury. And then it's walked toward the net by Zoom. And Fleury lays on his side. Stacks the pads and stops that shot from below the goal line. Batherson in the left wing corner. Put the puck behind the net. That was intended for Norris. He lost the puck. Seth Jones clears it ahead. Here's Kirby Doc into the Senator zone to the left wing board. Runs into Zoo, but let the puck flow to the corner. And Twistle will poke it behind the Senator net. And Shabbat sticks a pass up the left wing. Norris has it there. Now over to Batherson into the Hawk zone, left wing side, and he backhands the puck through the air and up into the protective netting behind the Hawk net. They're going to keep the face off in the Hawk zone in the circle to Fleury's right, so it must have hit a Hawk player stick on the way out. Yeah, well, right, that would have to be the case. That line, and we've talked about it a few times, the Hawks have a 2-0 lead, and obviously you want to keep all the momentum. They're out shooting Ottawa 13-4 to in the second period. That line is that Batherson, Norris, and Kachuk line is the one you got to watch out for because you want to keep the momentum going your way. You don't want to give... This Ottawa center team, any kind of hope, that line is is key to their offense. So keeping them in check is huge. Boy, just a little while ago, Paul, we had a great battle between the Hawks' Seth Jones and the Senators' Brady Kachuk in front of the Hawk net. We'll keep an eye on that. It's two two little talent and size there, huh? Yeah. Man, both of them big guys. In the far corner in the center zone. Josh Brown shot the puck to the Hawk line, picked off by Connor Murphy to Hardman, left wing center ice to Kurashev, charging into the Senators zone down the left wing. He put it across for Debrinkit. Debrinkit waved at it, but knocked it in behind. Kurashev took it back in behind. Did Debrinkit left circle, shoots, pad save made by Murray. Nice play by Phillips to keep the puck alive at the line, but then it's batted back down ice into the Hawk zone by Formanton. And now. Seth Jones will leave it in the near corner to Phillips. Passing up the right side. Here's Kurashev to bring it over the Senator line. Right wing, weaving to the slot. Had the puck stripped away by Holden. And back the other way come the Senators. Zaitsev will clear it off the left boards. And down behind the Hawk net it goes. Around to Connor Brown. Spins the puck behind the Hawk net. Isaac Phillips will backhand it away to the near boards. Kane put it back down the board. Stutzla took it away from the corner. Put it around to Zaitsev, who fired for the right point. This deflects over to Taves. Carries out of the center zone to Kane at center ice on the right wing. Dumps it into the right wing corner. Taves will spear it in behind the center net into the far corner. And Nick Paul takes a hit, but now he'll pick up the puck and carry out of the Sens end. Nick Paul to center ice, lifting the puck through the air into the right wing corner. Hawk in. Stutzla had his stick lifted by Doc. Gustafson took the puck, gave it ahead to Kane. Over the Sens line on the right wing where he just backhands a lazy one down in behind the net. And Shabbat will clear it around, and this ends up with the Senator blue line. Moving it ahead now, here's Gambrell to Sanford into the Hawk zone. He fires from the right circle, and Murphy blocks that one up and out of play. 4-14 left in the second period here at the United Center. It's the Hawks 2, and the Senators no score. This is Blackhawks Hockey on 720 WGN. DHL Roofing is hosting a hiring event on November 3rd from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. at 7400 Shadeland Avenue in Indianapolis, Indiana. DHL Roofing is rapidly growing and are currently hiring outside sales representatives who are confident, determined, and aggressive. You can make up to six figures just in your first year. DHL Roofing also provides excellent benefits, including health, vision, dental, life, a generous 401k match, and so much more. For more information, visit DHL Roofing on Facebook today. The independent agents that represent Indiana Farmers Insurance know if you want to earn a farmer's business, you first have to earn their trust. Farmers have enough to worry about, so it's great to know that we have their backs, that we know what's important to their business, their family, and their life. They know we're in this together, and that's how work gets done. Visit indianafarmersinsurance.com to find the agent that's near you and right for you. That's indianafarmersinsurance.com. My crusade for the perfect pizza crust has led me here, pining over a backyard wood-fired oven. But how do I bake this build into my budget? Where can I get some solid guidance on my finances? Who can help me understand if I have the dough for this? A little financial advice. At Regions, we know that's important because your LifeGreen checking account comes with green print. 
Financial planning with a banker who will help you create a personal budget and live in the moment. Make your appointment at regions.com slash greenprint. Regions Bank, member FDIC. Join our firm, Surratt, Grzanich, Ennett, and Kakuzian. Our offices open early. Now, back to the game. Back at the United Center, 4-14 remaining in the second period. Chicago Blackhawks with a 2-0 lead. Faceoff will be to the right of Mark andre Fleury. There's a little huddle to figure out. Ryan Carpenter and Dominic Kubelik talking about what, what the strategy will be here on this faceoff as Ryan Carpenter is set to face it off against Brady Kachuk. Faceoff circle to the right of Fleury. And the Sens win it, held in by Shabbat, left point, long wrist shot, deflects over the net and up into the protective netting. And I believe Carpenter may have gotten a piece of that with his stick, or it may have hit Josh Norris in the helmet and deflected out. we got a penalty to tell you about. Chicago penalty number seven, 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 minor minor penalty penalty for So Kirby Doc is going to get the gate and had, did not see the infraction. Yeah, I missed that, too. I was trying to, as we can kind of cheat up here with the monitor, I didn't see a roughing penalty. I didn't see much there. Oh, he, okay, he threw down, looked like the, the Ottawa okay. winger in the slot, kind of with a forearm, kind of heaved him down as he was going out to his point man. This is the Senator's second power play of the game. Doc gets the gate, two for roughing, as you heard. As McCabe will clear the puck all the way down. And in behind the Senator net. This is Thomas Shabbat. Passing ahead at center ice, Tim Stutzle. He's got terrific hands. Moves it in over the Hawk line, Batherson. Then into the far corner for Norris. Giving a shot into the boards there by McCabe. Senators hold the zone, however. Stutzle along the left wing boards. Put it down there for Batherson. Batherson rolls into the left wing circle, tries to center, hit a skate. Carpenter grabs hold of the puck and clears it off the glass down to the Senator Blue Line. Yeah, good skate by Connor Murphy. Almost like a little kick save. A mini one, he was able to do that, and it caused a turnover, and the Hawks were able to clear. Schussler into the Hawks zone, took a chuck along the left wing boards, put it back to the left point. Batherson will carry down to the corner, give it a Stutzler beside the circle to Shabbat. And over to Norris, to Shabbat at the line, deep slot. Now to Stutzler along the left boards, back to Shabbat over to Norris, a one-timer. Flurry got in front of that one nicely with the blocker. Norris along the right boards, now high slot, Shabbat to Stutzla, put it across in front, and McCabe held his ground and slapped that one out of there. Senators get the puck back, however, 40 seconds on their power play. Batherson feeds it up the slot, Shabbat's got the puck just inside the line. Over to Norris, top of the right wing circle. Norris now, moving it down beside the net, Kachuk a backhand feed in front, loose puck, Batherson got it and fired, that deflects wide. Murphy's pushes the puck up the near boards. Carpenter battling for it. Had it for a moment. Lost it. Shabbat took it back. Took a chuck left corner to Batherson. Slap pass over to Norris along the right boards to Stutzla. Now to Batherson. He'll fire. Excuse me. Norris will fire over the net off the glass. Shabbat got it back left circle to Batherson beside the net. Feeds it up the slot. Hagel will stop it and then dive and poke check it down ice. Two Outstanding play. Two minute shift for all nine guys on the ice. It was a battle of wills and Brandon Hagel with the outstretched reach with his stick is able to clear. What a play by 38. I'll tell you, there are going to be a lot of people wearing the number, the sweater number 38 in this building in future Hawk games. Brandon Hagel quickly becoming a fan favorite. In the Senator zone, Doc in the far corner passing to Hardman left circle, trying to get away, a quick shot taken back by the Senators. And then Connor Brown put it to the near corner Hawk zone. There to get it, Nick Paul to Brown again. Drops it at the line. Here's Holden closing in and firing. That just missed the net, and I don't think Fleury got a good look at that. Harbin now moves it ahead. Here's Doc through center ice over the Sens line, left point. You heard that whistle cut the air. That means offside against the Hawks. He needed about two more inches. What he, he, did get, he did get the blue line, but he did not get the puck all the way over. I learned this lesson. Man, it took... Till like my senior year in college and I said that was onside I got the puck to the line the key is you got to get it all the way over the line then you can use the blue line as much as you want he just didn't get it over because he had Alex to it on the right wing yeah. wide open if it's an odd man rush as a defenseman you have to respect the speed of the guys attacking you but if it's three against three like that 
you can step up at the blue line and create an offside, and the defenseman on that side for the Senators did just that. Now at the Hawk blue line, Gustafson corrals the puck, moves it on the left wing to Dominic Kubalik at center ice. He flings it through the air and down into the catching glove of Matt Murray. Put it around to Mete. Head to Ennis into the Hawk zone, down the right wing. He pokes the puck behind the net. Gustafson will clear it around to Kane to Kubalik, racing through center ice to the Senator blue line where he spins the puck off the inboards and then skates down and runs into Josh Brown. Loose puck back in the net. Taves had it. And it knocked off his stick. Senators get it back. Sanford, audible line. Passing across the rink. And Josh Brown will flip it down in behind the Hawk. Get around, goes to the near corner. And then Gustafson put it behind the net to Phillips. Far corner. He can't clear. And now Kane will. Clearing the puck down ice into the Senators' zone. Quick line change by the Hawks. Sends get it back. 20 seconds left in the period. And here's a pass now ahead to Paul. Dumps it near corner, Hawks zone. Murphy pounds it around. Here's Carpenter passing to Strom with 10 seconds at center ice. Strom flips the puck down in on Murray. He'll sweep it behind his net into the far corner. Two seconds, one, and the period will end. So it's the Hawks two and the Senators no score after two periods. The shots on goal favoring the Blackhawks as well, 23 to 19. And so far, the Hawks are getting it done efficiently. Yeah, out shooting the Ottawa Senators 15 to 6. That period winning the special teams battle, scoring on the power play, able to defend power play for Ottawa, especially that last sequence was amazing. All nine guys, the five Senators and the four Blackhawks were out for the entire two minutes of that period of that power play. And Brandon Hagel, with a great effort, like you said, 38. He kind of reminds me a little bit of kind of how, how Shaw came onto the scene with the Blackhawks and used his sure. energy and his, his hitting and then his skill. And his, that energy he got, the crowd just loved him. And Brandon Hagel showing a lot of those characteristics, too. Absolute, definite similarities between the two. Um, I don't think Hagel has learned yet how to play bad goalie, because Andrew Shaw specialized in that. <laughs> he would go, and Troy, by the way, Troy came up with that phrase. Okay. Shaw would go down and stand in front of the opposition net on a power play, and he would act like he was playing goalie, like he was going to stop the pucks, and he'd just play bad goalie. And so many times the puck would hit him and go in, or like in the Stanley Cup final against Boston. Game one. There you go. Puck hits a shin pad and goes in. Bad the best goals. goals. Bad goal. <laughs> oh. I love that. That's great. But, yeah, yeah. really good period for the Blackhawks in, in all facets. They, you know, the, the, the ice was definitely tilted in their favor. A lot of good little plays, and then that penalty kill was huge. And, obviously, seeing Patrick Kane score a power play goal, yeah. lovely things for the Hawks in the I, second period. I think that delighted everybody in this building. I mean, he was a real question mark coming into today whether he would even practice. Sure. He was cleared the COVID protocols and now back in the lineup. Let's go downstairs and join our guest in between periods. It's Ryan Carpenter, Ryan, John Whiteman, along with Paul Capanigri here. And how much fun are you having playing on that line with Jonathan Taves and Brandon Hagel? Oh, yeah, those guys are horses. I mean, Hagel's first every puck and wins a ton of battles. And, I mean, Taser's Taser. I mean, no one can really take the puck from him, too. So just trying to work hard, trying to do my job and finish hits and maybe create some space for those guys and just, and just play my game that I play with whoever. And, um, yeah, it seems like we've gotten some chances. We'd like to score more, maybe five on five. But um, it was nice when Kaner was out there with those guys. They popped that first one in and the first pair. That was huge for us. Ryan, the power play looked really good. You kind of slotted into to Tyler Johnson's spot. Talk about, you know, your role on that and how you're kind of maneuvering in and out when you got Taves. And, or you got Kane and Debrinkin and Jones kind of moving it on the outside. You're kind of trying to find a stick lane, getting the goalies where you got a lot of little responsibilities, right? Yeah, trying to win pucks, trying to support. If I think they're going seam, I'm trying to get out of the way so I don't I don't deflect a pass from Kitty to Kitty to Kane or vice versa. It seems like those guys do a great job finding each other and um, yeah, just trying to trying to be out there, energy and win pucks and and even on that goal, just try to be try to be open and get and get pucks off quick to the net. Ryan, I know you're a former Bowling Green Falcon. I feel it's my duty to inform you that the guy working with me tonight, Paul Capanigri, is an Ohio State Buckeye. Oh, that's too bad. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if I say OH to him, he's going to say I O. That's it. Yeah, All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Ryan, Ryan's rolling his eyes right now, yeah. I'm sure. Real quick, Ryan, real quick. The hard work that you've done is paying off. You're getting more time on the line with uh, Taves and Hagel. 
You got a 2 nothing lead on this Ottawa Senators team. You guys want to close the deal and get that first win. What's going to be involved in that? I, I think this next goal, not sitting back. You know, when you have a 2 goal lead, tendency is to sit back. And I mean, they've, they've had some good chances tonight. Flowers shut them down and, and had a couple good kills. So we need to stay out of the box and keep it 5-on-5 five five and, and, and try to get that next goal and, and not sit back here. Well, that sounds like a great plan. Go do that in the third period. Thanks for being our guest here in the intermission. Okay, thanks, guys. Right. Thanks, Black Ryan. Hawks forward, Ryan Carpenter, our guest. After two periods, 2 nothing Hawks. Joe Brand is standing by in Blackhawk Central with a full intermission report, followed by third period action. We'll find out if the Hawks can close the deal and pick up their first win of the season. All that coming your way in a little while. This is Blackhawks Hockey on 720 WGN. Excited for a road trip? Start it off right with auto coverage from American Family Insurance. J.D. Power ranked us number one in customer satisfaction with the auto insurance shopping experience among mid-size insurers. Get a quote at AmFam.com. American Family Insurance. For J.D. Power 2021 award information, visit JDPower.com slash awards. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. Veterans, you stepped up for our freedom. You deserve the freedom to move about your home. If you served in a branch of the armed forces, enter for the chance to win a home stair lift with installation from Access Elevator. Visit WGNRadio.com slash contests. Imagine a fast food rib sandwich. No, no, stop. Not that one. Please stop. Now instead, imagine a very real country style rib sandwich. Mmm, smoked pork ribs. Gouda. Whoa. Pretty freaky that you're somehow imagining the exact same rib sandwich Arby's has right now for a limited time. Hmm, imagine that. Arby's, we have the meat. At participating Arby's for a limited time. So then I dropped some garlic and croutons on there, and the rest is salad history. I made the best salad ever, people. And now I'm making the best app. The Caesar Sportsbook app got live in-game betting, parlays, and Caesar rewards. Caesar salad ain't got nothing on my app. Nothing! Must be 21. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-9-WITH-IT. Download the Caesar Sportsbook app. Your app is ready, Emperor. Power a house full of devices with the fastest Wi-Fi, only from Xfinity. Now through October 31st, ask how to get a special offer of $300 back when you get gig speed internet. Or get started with up to 50 megabits per second download speed for $20 a month for 12 months with a one-year agreement. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless filling and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. New performance starter internet customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gig internet and XFi gateway. Actual speeds vary. The best wing joints all know they need a buffalo wing and a hot honey wing sauced and tossed to order. They also know they need a solid crinkle fry and a drive through and a signature roast beef and a logo that's a big red hat and a... Oh, is that just Arby's? Well then, follow along, wing joints. This is how it's done. Arby's new $5 boneless wings and crinkle fries. Arby's, we have the meat. At participating Arby's for a limited time. It's time for an intermission update. Here's Joe Brand. 40 minutes through from the United Center, and one thing's for sure. Boy, did this team miss number 88. Patrick Kane with an assist and a goal in his first game back after missing the last four due to COVID protocol. The Blackhawks are now 20 minutes away from picking up their first win of the year, finally putting to bed that franchise worst start to a season. I'm Joe Brand. You're listening to Blackhawks Hockey here on 720 WGN. This is one of just three games in the NHL going on right now. Tampa Bay Lightning ended up beating the Washington Capitals 3-2, handing Washington its first loss in regulation. Lightning improved to 5-3-1. and one. Washington drops to 5-1-3. and three. Also, Seattle just started things against the Edmonton Oilers in Edmonton three minutes in, and it's one nothing Edmonton. Looks like they just scored a, more, a moment ago, so one nothing Oilers in the first period over there. Another note is the Blackhawks have postponed Marion Hosa's legacy night, which was scheduled for Tuesday, November 9th. There is an entire statement from the team. Here's a blip of it. After further discussion between Danny Wirtz, Jamie Faulkner, and Marion, everyone agreed that this is an important time for our organization to reflect rather than celebrate. Marion and the club's leadership team all know that we must build back our community's trust as we ensure accountability within our organization following Kyle Beach's courage in coming forward. 
The Chicago Bulls, as we move over to the NBA, have taken a lead over Boston, 121-112. Just 2.26 left in that game as the Bulls are looking for their sixth win on the season. Monday night football, the New York Giants still trailing Kansas City. It's now 14-0 Chiefs and make that 14-10 Chiefs with 21 seconds left in the second quarter. One other note in sports around the world, the NCAA has suspended Illinois setter Kofi Coburn for the th first three games of the season for selling apparel and memorabilia three days before the new regulations that now allow athletes to participate in money-making ventures went into effect. Here at the United Center, it's 2-0 Blackhawks over the Ottawa Senators. They need just 20 more minutes to close out their fi first victory. Don't forget, fans, after tonight's game to tune into the Bitcoin of America Chicago Blackhawks post-game show here on 720 WGN. We'll have player and coach interviews, fan reaction, and game analysis. We'll break down that second period with Paul Capanigri when we come back. 2-0 Blackhawks after 2. You're listening to Blackhawks Radio here on 720 WGN. Surat, give us four hours in the morning and we'll ask, don't you work? Hi, I'm Randy and this is Dave. We're the founders of Bombas, the most comfortable socks in the history of feet. So comfortable we sold and donated millions of pairs. To sell and donate a lot of socks, we became obsessed with comfort. We reinvented the sock from the ground up, adding comfort innovations along the way. It worked. People tried them, loved them, told their friends about them. Helping us sell and donate millions of pairs. Try them now at bombas.com slash comfy and get 20% off your first order. That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash comfy. Hi, this is Terry Prince. I'm the acting director of the Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs. We're taking the month of November to amplify our support of veterans through Operation Rising Spirit. And we're asking for your help by writing a note of appreciation to a veteran in one of our homes. You can easily do this by visiting our website at veterans.illinois.gov and click on Send a Vet a Message. We've seen how this small gesture brightens their day and lifts the spirits of our veterans. The Department of Veterans Affairs is so innovative, it not only improves the lives of veterans, it transforms the lives of healthcare professionals who serve them with access to the latest technologies and remarkable benefits. Transform your future at vacareers.va.gov. Nothing waits for a farmer. Not the weather, the banker, the crops. It's never at a farmer's convenience. So when it comes to crop protection savings programs, how come they get to ask you to wait for a rebate? Don't wait for rebates. Get the True Choice offer from Corteva AgriScience for instant upfront savings on crop protection products. Ask your local Pioneer sales representative or your crop protection retailer about the True Choice offer from Corteva. But don't wait. Blackhawks leading Ottawa 2-0 after two periods here from the United Center. Goals by Brandon Hagel and Patrick Kane back in the lineup. As we mentioned earlier, Patrick Kane was on the ice for morning skate, but there was no definitive answer if he was going to play. This team was really hoping to see him because they know what he can bring, like what Kevin DeHaan has to say. Well, anytime you get a point-of-game guy back in the lineup, that you know, especially over his career, that is a big boost for sure, uh, especially when scoring 5-on-5 five five has been an issue for us. Um, it's, it's a big boost for sure. He's, uh, he's a leader on this team, and he's you know an all-time great. So it's, uh, it's good to see him back out there, and glad he's healthy. After tonight's game, don't forget to tune in to the Bitcoin of America, Chicago Blackhawks post-game show. We'll have player and coach interviews, fan reaction, and game analysis. Blackhawks leading the Ottawa Senators 2-0 right now as we bring in Paul Kapanigri for some quick analysis. And Paul, honestly, I feel like this is what everyone ex was expecting to see the Blackhawks the type of team they could be heading into this year, somewhat relying on those stars while the little pieces come into play throughout the game. Patrick Kane has produced today. Mark andre Fleury has produced today. Those have been the key components. Everyone else is doing their job on the other side. Yeah, I mean, it never is works out just perfectly. I think, you know, when you assemble a team, you know, you have your idea. That's, you know, okay, this guy's going to slot here, going to slot here, but it always doesn't work out, and you kind of figure it out as you go because a lot of those guys, you saw in training camp, right, the lines were kind of, okay, these are the guys you start, start with, and how long did that last? Maybe not even a game, right? you know. But, yeah, this is kind of the formula. They, they started a little slow. Marc-Andre Fleury was really good in the first. Late in the period, you get a, gr a goal on a great effort from a, a line that wore out some guys. And then in the second period is when the Hawks really turned it on. And, and Ottawa's a young team. They got some really good players. But when you can get a lead on them and, and you're out playing them, you know, it, it's easier for a young guy maybe not to 
you know, overcome that. You know, they're still young, inexperienced guys. So I think the Hawks have done a really good job with that. And I've said it a couple times, that line is really good for Ottawa if they can keep them under wraps. And, and we've seen some lineup changes, right? You know, we got Kane and Taves are on the line together right now with Brandon Hagel. I love that because Brandon Hagel is just a madman out there for the yeah. puck. He, he gets everything, and if he doesn't, he causes some kind of interference for a guy to make a hard play. And, he, and he's a really good guy for Patrick Kane to play with because he'll go get him pucks. And then get Kane the puck, and then he'll go and get open, and Kane loves that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, we had some some changes, and then, the, like I said, the power play was good. Even when they didn't score, they looked good. So really good signs of, of, you know, trending in a really good way right now for the Hawks. Paul and John hope to give you the first Blackhawks victory of the year coming up shortly. Brandon Hagel is, to add to Paul's point, Cole leads the team right now. Cole leads the game with four shots on goal. He and Patrick Kane, shots on goal overall. Brought to you by Monsters, Inc. as the Hawks lead 23-19. We'll take one last break and then head into the third period next. You're listening to Blackhawks Hockey here on 720 WGN. You see where your business can go. To get there, you may need another 10 trucks. At Century Insurance, we put more than 115 years of industry experience to work to help protect you as you launch a new delivery service or expand into a new region and reach your business goals. Century, right by you. Property and casualty coverages and underwritten and safety services are provided by a member of the Century Insurance Group, Stevens Point, Wisconsin. For a complete listing of companies, visit Century.com. Policies, coverages, benefits, and discounts are not available in all states. See policy for complete coverage details. Jake and Christine knew they needed help renovating their dream home. As a Pella advisor, I make sure every step of getting new windows and doors is smooth, including setting you up with our Pella Care Guarantee. It covers everything from product to installation with some of the strongest warranties in the industry. Right now, you can elevate the look of your home with special offers from Pella Indianapolis. Visit PellaIndianapolis.com slash radio to learn more. There's a lot of screaming, division, partisanship. Is it more affirmation than information? What we're trying to do is something different, something that everyone wants, the presentation of truth. The Donlin Report, weeknights at 5 p.m. only on News Nation. Hello, Chicago. Ashley Banfield here. Tune into Banfield weeknights on News Nation. And let's talk. Find us on Comcast, Channel 223, DirecTV 307, and AT&T UVerse 1180. That's Banfield weeknights at 9 on News Nation. Chicago Gateway Green has been greening and beautifying Chicago for the past 35 years. Gateway Green is the oak leaf signs on the expressways and 100 gardens covering over 160 acres of roadside landscape that provide cleaner air. Gateway Green has planted thousands of shrubs, perennials, and trees and removed more than 1.5 million pounds of litter from expressways. Help Gateway Green in its mission by becoming an expressway partner and showcase your company to hundreds of thousands of consumers every day. Visit ChicagoGatewayGreen.org. Period three. The third period is next. Here for a recap is Joe Brand. And the second period scoring recap is sponsored by the College of DuPage. Is it time to elevate your career? College of DuPage has a multitude of degrees with classes starting next spring. Visit itslikecod.com. His first game back since having four games off. Patrick Kane lights the lamp. Here's Kane, right circle, a taste beside the net. Put it in front. Carpenter jams on a rebound. Score! Patrick Kane! He ties Steve Larmer for third all time in Blackhawks history with a power play goal. And the Blackhawks lead the Senators two to nothing. And it's his second point of the day, which means he's just one shy of tying Dennis Savard for third most points all time in Blackhawks history. Time of the goal, two minutes and nine seconds. Jonathan Taves with his fifth assist. It did come on the power play opportunity. Seth Jones did a really nice job of keeping the puck in Ottawa's zone, starting another sequence of shots. John Paul, the Blackhawks are 20 minutes away from their first victory on the season. Were you any good at closing deals? I know that uh, working in minor league baseball, you had to do some sales. Were you any good at closing? Uh, I'm a, a 7-Eleven. I, I never close. Oh, that's okay. my biggest he was, flaw. He was getting extra Slurpees. Wow. <laughs> What's that? Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, always be closing the ABCs. I like always. it. Put that coffee down. Love that movie. All right, two nothing Hawks with 20 more minutes left in regulation. And uh, the Ottawa Senators, we've talked about them here ad nauseum, Paul. It, 
And I said entering this game tonight that this team is a handful, and they are. They're 3-4-0 oh entering the game. Right. They're not going to go down quietly. I mean, they've kind of built a little bit of a reputation as being a tough team to put away, even though they're a young team. So this one's far from over. Some Young guys sometimes don't even think about stuff like that. They just go out and play with excitement and energy. And I think that's key for the Hawks maybe in this first five minutes. Get off to a good start to the period and uh, kind of maybe put them away early so they don't have a chance. No, they're all one by the Senators now to get it started here in the third. Artem Zub put it over to Shabbat. He'll fire the puck down and misses everybody. Icing called here against Ottawa. Faceoff coming down in the Senators' zone. This will be in the circle to Murray's left. One thing I noticed about Murray, because it was the opposite in St. Louis, the other day, he does not come out of his net very often on dump-ins and, and whatnot to play pucks, whereas Jordan Bennington was out. The puck was in, in on his hash mark, and if you rung it around the net, he was coming out to stop it. So, you know, that's a different, you know, your tactics and your dumps on offensive chances are, are, are different, I think. When you know a goalie's not going to do that, you might throw it in a little softer and not have a hard spinning dump. Draw one by the Hawks. Seth Jones grabs it high slot and snaps one toward the net. It just misses. Taves picks up the rebound along the goal line. Whips it behind the net around to Hagel near the right point. He suits. He scores! Carpenter was in front of the net creating a screen. He was locked up with Josh Norris. And I don't know if this hit Carpenter's skate or not. Hagel let it fly from near the right point. Well, Ryan Carpenter was just not going to be denied. He was involved in a battle. And this may have hit this may have hit the skate of Carpenter or the kid Norris. Either way, the Hawks have a 3-0 lead on the Senators. Yeah, pretty harmless looking play. Tave sent it down the wall. Hagel brings it all the way to the point. And he sees Brian Ryan Carpenter sitting in front. I don't think that hit anything as it went right through <laughs> the two players. But great idea. You see Ryan Carpenter is right in front of Matt Murray's eyes. He did not see that puck coming at all. Brandon Hagel throws it almost like a just a little sauce right through, maybe going 20 miles an hour, and it just found the left side and off the post and in. Blackhawks, 3 nothing. So it should be Hagel's goal. The goal scored at... 29 seconds of period number three. It is Hagel's goal, thank you. I, I had a feeling that hit a skate in front, but they're going to give it to Brandon Hagel. And Jonathan Taves will pick up the assist. That's his third point tonight. Seth Jones will pick up the other assist. So Hagel from Taves and Jones at 29 seconds. Now a penalty will be called here to the Senators as Connor Murphy was pulled down behind the Hawk net. Kirby Dock sent the puck across. There goes Flurry to the Hawks bench. Hawks come with six attackers. There's Gustafson in over the Senator line. Left wing put it across the canvas. He just scores! He's got the record! He's in third place all time in Blackhawks history. Working his way ahead of Steve Larmer. And with Patrick Kane scoring that goal, he's now tied with Dennis Savard. For third all-time in points in Chicago Blackhawks history. What a night for Patrick Kane. It's 4 nothing Hawks. Only a guy like him who's not skated for 10 days could just come right into the lineup and put up two goals and assists. Set a record, a Blackhawk record. Just a special guy. What a pass by Eric Gustafson from the far right circle across the ice. He knew he could just make any players with delayed penalty call on Ottawa and he sets it across and Patrick Kane one times it over the left glove and shoulder of Matt Murray 4 nothing Chicago the Hawks are rolling and just to recap Kane third all time in Blackhawks history in goal scoring he's now forced ahead of Steve Larmer who was a great goal scorer now the other way the Senators will get a goal a shot from the left wing circle and this came off the stick of Alex Formanton. And no shutout tonight for the Hawks. This is a clean wrist shot from the left wing circle. 4 1 Hawks. Yeah, Stutzel, Stutzla sent it left. Well, maybe that was. Uh, that was Victor Mete, Mete. Mete. Mete up in the play, the defenseman. And it looked like a bit of a harmless shot, but it caught Flurry's glove, went up over his shoulder. I thought he got a piece of it, but it went up high over him. And Ottawa Senators have a little life. So we're not even two minutes into the period. We've already had a couple goals. Three goals now in less than two minutes in this hockey game. 4-1 Chicago. 
Well, to clean it up a little bit for Patrick Kane, that's his third on the season from Eric Gustafson. That goal at 122. The Senators came back less than 20 seconds later. And uh, Alex Formanton scoring his second goal on the season from Victor Mete. That goal at the 141 mark of the third. So 4 1 in favor of the Hawks as we rejoin the play from center ice. Calvin Hahn takes the puck and flings it down into the Ottawa zone. Here's Sanford carrying to center ice. Got the puck to Dylan Gambrell, the former San Jose Shark. He'll put the puck into the right wing corner and the Hawk in. Get a little pig pile going in the corner. Caves works the puck free up the boards, not out. Kept in by Artem Zub. Moves it to the left point and a long shot there from Shabbat. Misses the Hawks net. Hawks come back up ice. Carpenter touches the puck off the left wing boards down to the left wing corner. Senator into Hagel. Back to the left point it goes now and a shot from DeHaan was deflected from in front of the net. The other way come the Senators. And then the puck taken away at the Hawk line by Carpenter. Carrying in over the Senator line, left wing, gave it to Hagel. The Carpenter left wing corner. Hit hard by Brady Kachuk in the corner. He worked the puck free in behind the Sens net. Shabbat will lift it through and out the center ice to Brady Kachuk. Moves it in over the Hawk line, down to the right wing corner. And then Gustafson got body position on Kachuk. Took the puck away for a moment, then Kachuk fed it up the slot. Kept in by Mete at the line. Move it over to the right wing boards, and Norris will fling it across the rink into the far corner. Kirby Dock got the puck ahead to Kane. He sends it down ice into the Senator end. Dominic Kubalik outraces the Senator player to the dots, negating the icing. Got it to Dock to DeHaan left point. He'll spin it down in behind the Sens net. Puck poked away by Kane. Taken back by Kubalik now, left wing corner. To the left point, DeHaan swings it right point. Jones fires a long shot from there, and a kick save made by Murray. And Batherson at the Sens line. He and Jones get their sticks on the puck simultaneously, and it deflects up into the Ottawa bench. We'll pause 10 seconds for a station identification. You're listening to Chicago Blackhawks Hockey. The Blackhawks, Wildcats, and the NFL play here on AM 720. On smart speakers, say play WGN Chicago. John, I'm going to get a little two-for-one here, especially with the Jonathan Taves assist on the third goal and the Patrick Kane goal. Number four, they are sponsored by ChevyDriveChicago.com. Check out Chevy Shop, click and drive, shop online at 24-7 at ChevyDriveChicago.com. Now Tyler Ennis lifts the puck into the Hawks zone down the right wing side of the corner. Seth Jones in there battling. Worked it free to the Honda Jones along the left boards. Head up the left wing to Debrinket, short of the Hawk blue line. He'll pitch it off the boards to center ice and then wedge it down ice into the Ottawa zone. Zaitsev sends the puck over in the far side to Holden. Passing up the left wing at center ice to Tierney. Then a rink-wide pass to Zaitsev. And from the Hawk blue line, he'll wind the puck down the boards in behind the net and up the far side. Hardman runs into his man, knocks the puck deep into the corner to Jones. Back to Hardman. Tried to hand it off to Philip Kurashev coming out of the Hawk zone. This is batted back deeper into the Hawk end by Shabbat. Jones behind the net. The Carpenter along the right board. Flings it to center ice. Hagel's there. Great hand-eye coordination. Took that one out of the air and didn't bring his stick above the shoulder to make it a high stick. Then Taves took it behind the net. Sent it through the crease. It was intended for Hagel. Slides through to the near boards to McCabe. He'll fling it down in behind the net. And then Zub gave the puck away to Hagel. Top of the right circle for Carpenter. Tried to flip it back in front for Hagel. That was broken up by Senator goaltender Matt Murray. Now at center ice on the left wing side. Batherson will flip the puck across to Shibata. He'll take the puck and backskate down beside his net and stop as the Senators make a line change. Really good look by Jonathan Taves, the captain, trying to go across the crease to Brandon Hagel to get him his Patrick goal. Good look by the captain. Now here's Nick Paul with a turn and a backhander from the high slot in the Hawk zone. That's into the breadbasket of Mark andre Fleury, and he lets the puck drop into his glove and holds it. Face off to his left. 4-1 Hawks. Good stuff by the Hawks. Kind of a wild first two minutes, right? Hawks get a couple goals. Ottawa comes back real quick. It seems like it's settled down a little bit, kind of going back and forth. I love that pass. I mean, that was the right play, but I'm sure the captain was thinking, just missed as we see the replay, just missed Hagel's stick to deflect that into the net and give 38 his... I yeah. believe it would be his first career hat trick. It would be. It would be his first hat trick. Now in behind the Senator net, Reese Johnson of the Hawks runs into big Josh Brown, sending him into the glass, but the Senators retain the puck. 
Victor Mete passing ahead. Zach Sanford on the Hawk line down the right wing. A former blue walks into the net and shoots with the backhand. Turned out of there by Flurry. Nahan on the far corner battling with a couple of Senator players. Sanford's got it. Wraparound try. Nice play by Flurry to get the pad down. And the other way comes Dylan Strom to center ice. Strom on the left wing flings the puck down in front of the Ottawa net. Taken out of there by Nick Holden. Head to Zaitsev and now to Chris Paul. Head to Zaitsev over the Hawk blue line. He'll spin it down in behind the Hawk net. Taken away now in the near corner by Gustafson. Bank pass ahead to Kane over the Sens line. Right circle holding. Fed the slot. Kirby Dock fires. And a kick save made by Murray. And the other way come the Senators. Formanton moving it in over the Hawk blue line along the right wing side to Tierney. Tierney battling there with one of the Hawk defensemen who has fallen down. That's Connor Murphy. And Tyler Ennis took it away, got it to Tierney in the right circle. He'll wind it on goal. Kicked out of there with a nice pad save by Fleury. Here's Ennis in the right wing corner. Then behind the Hawk net. And he's given a pseudo bear hug by Kirby Dock as Ennis stopped. And Dock nearly fell over the top of him there. Ennis got the puck free now in the right wing corner. Then drops it in the right wing circle. Tierney passing to the slot. Kane broke that up. Here's Kubalik taking the loose puck and breaking to center. Kubalik to Kane over the center line, down the slot, takes a shoot, he scores! Hat trick for Patrick Kane! A four-point night for Patrick Kane, and what a night! As the hats come cascading down from this partisan Chicago crowd, Patrick Kane! There was some question as to whether he would even play tonight, and what a performance he's put on here! Kane with his third goal on the night. That's his fourth on the season to go along with an assist. And he's now past Dennis Savard for third place all time in Chicago Blackhawk history in points. Earlier in the game, he passes Steve Larmer for the all-time record, or the third place anyway, in goals. And now Patrick Kane, third place all alone in goals and points in Chicago Blackhawks history. What an unforgettable night. It's it, truly amazing, John. And I, all those records, I mean, that's just it's just the next guys in line and what guys they he did that to, but he's going to keep going up and up. But I want to talk how, how he had the legs to do that. He shot out of the cannon. They had been on the ice for a good 30 seconds. You'd think his legs might be a little tired not having skated for 10 days he shot up the middle of the ice broke broke three of the defense and went five hole on matt murray and the crowd is so good to see the blackhawks fans have some get those hats on the ice for patrick kane four john four points he hadn't done anything in 10 days not allowed to skate anything and he makes it look like he's been doing it all week long well you look at the smile on his face over at the blackhawks bench i mean it's ear to ear right now and he's even going to get some, some some applause from the radio booth. Absolutely. Wow. What a night for Patrick Cave. And Gene Honda announcing the goal right now. It's gotten loud in this building, as the United Center is wont to do. 5-1 in favor of the Hawks as we rejoin the play. Inside the Hawk in near corner, Seth Jones will skew the puck up the boards. Not out. And Josh Brown fires from the right point. Flurry got a piece of that, knocking it wide. Puck kept in at the left point by Mete, and then poked away by Kurashev to center ice, forcing the Senators to regroup. Back in the Ottawa zone, Josh Brown to Victor Mete to center ice. Dumps it down into the Hawks zone. Jones caught up between the circles. Quick pass up ice up the left wing to Debrinket. Into the Senator zone where he tried to hand the puck off. This is taken away by Stutzla. Ahead now to Gambrell into the Hawks zone. He'll fire from the left circle, and Fleury went down in the butterfly position and knocked that away. Brinkett winds it around to Strom. Hawk line right wing. Returns it on the left wing. McCabe over the Senator line. McCabe to the corner. Carrying behind the Senator net all the way to the right corner. And he sets up Reese Johnson from the right point. A long snapshot. Missed the net. Here's Johnson racing for the puck. Far corner. Senator zone. Runs into Stutzla. Senators get the puck back. Zaitsev with a lead pass for Stutzla. Is off his stick into the Hawk zone. And Isaac Phillips will gather it in behind the net. Senators in the line change. Hawks come back up ice out of their end. Led by Strom. Rink wide pass for Taves into the Senator end. He was jostled there by Sanford. Lost the puck. And Shabbat will take it in behind his net stop and have a quick look. Yeah, I, I, I want to just mention, 
big players at big times. When you need a game like this, he answers the bell. Patrick Kane, I still am just kind of marveling at that. As as the Hawks kind of doing their job now, kind of not doing anything silly. But Patrick Kane coming back on soon for an encore. But what a night for 88. Three goals and an assist. Leading this team. Needed a win. He took charge. And he's put him in position. And keep in mind, Brandon Hagel has two goals as well here tonight. We could possibly see two hat tricks here. We've already gotten one. That from Kane. Here along the right boards in the Hawk zone. Connor Brown tried to stick the puck to the corner. Picked off by Gustafson to Carpenter Hawk line. He'll wave it out the center ice. Mete hit by Carpenter as he moves the puck into the Hawk zone. Murphy will grab it and send it over to Gustafson along the left boards and back to Murphy. Then a pass up the right wing to Kane in front of the Senator bench. He'll just tap it down the boards and in behind the Senator net. Spun back around by Mete. Kane took it back along the right boards. Backhands the puck behind the net to the left wing quarter to Doc. And he'll flip it behind the Ottawa net. Here's Mete with a quick pass up the right side that misses Ennis and goes all the way down. We get icing against the Senators. 5-1 to one in favor of the Hawks. Yeah, really good stuff. I mean, you kind of see, you know, the, the reaction here. The Hawks are in such a high of getting the excitement going on. Patrick Kane getting all the love. He's on the ice again. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's so, the Hawks needed this. The Hawks fans needed this. Something, a game, an electric game like this. You know, they're not struggling in a 2-1 game to get the win. They're doing dominating play, and they're getting superstar performances by superstar players. What a game for 88. Let's review, Paul. In the pregame, I had the drop that <laughs> oh says, Who boy, am I banking oh on? Boy, Sponsored oh by Marquette boy, Bank. Yeah. Wake up to a better way to bank oh. with Marquette Bank and fun rewards. And who did I choose? You couldn't wait to get that one. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Wow. I did can for the record. Can we go back to talking about your hockey and how you yeah. fall down everywhere? Yeah, Wait, that's, let's not get you too high. But that's yes, probably a better Yes, thing. you did have um, Patrick Kane as your pick to, per, uh, pick to perform tonight. Our great sponsor, Marquette, yeah, Bank, Marquette Bank, played a part in that as well. I had a friend just text me and say, you better go get a, a lottery ticket right now. Hey, who well, knows? Well, that's usually Wednesday nights, right? So. All right, draw in the Hawk zone. They're going to do it again. It's going to be Brady Kachuk facing off with Kirby Doc. A little more than halfway through the third period, 5-1 Hawks in case you just joined us. Patrick Kane picked up a hat trick and an assist, and now with the points, he's moved past Dennis Savard for third place all time in Chicago Blackhawks history in points. And he also passed Steve Larmer, former great Blackhawks shooter, uh, in goals, he's now third all-time all alone in goals in the history of the Chicago Blackhawks. We knew the records were going to fall at some point, but why not tonight? Jones to center ice will fling it down the right boards into the center zone. Karam's around to the near side. Here's Zaitsev with a pass up the right side to Batherson. Fed it ahead to Stutzla. He had to reach over his head and glove that puck and try and drop it to his stick, skating into the Hawk zone simultaneously. Murphy was able to shoulder him off the puck. Then it's taken by McCabe. He flings it ahead. It was intended for Dylan Strome. The pass misses and goes down. We get icing against the Hawks. That was an interesting play. Kind of did like an alley-oop to himself with his glove. An interesting play by Stutzla, uh, the youngster from Germany. Maybe maybe that was something he learned uh, growing up over there. But it was a creative play, kind of yeah. trying to put it past the defenseman. I, uh, for some reason, I can't see Stutzla playing any baseball in Germany. Maybe, well, probably a lot of soccer, but... Who knows? You just never know. Here's Reese Johnson trying to deflect the puck out of the Hawks zone. Kept in by the Senators. Got a penalty coming up here as Dylan Strom got the foot behind Dylan Gambrell and took him down, and tripping will be the call. We'll have a Senator power play when we return. 8.28 left in the third. The Hawks five and the Senators one. And they have not flashed on the red light as of yet. Are they faking us out here? We should be, but so far... Wait, They're keeping wait it right it, here. Wait for it. Yeah, the, the, the doors are open to the box as well. Oh, there goes the red light. <laughs> Got to turn on the red light. Okay. 5-1 <laughs> Hawks. This is Blackhawks Hockey on 720 WGN. 
DHL Roofing is hosting a hiring event on November 3rd from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. at 7400 Shadeland Avenue in Indianapolis, Indiana. DHL Roofing is rapidly growing and are currently hiring outside sales representatives who are confident, determined, and aggressive. You can make up to six figures just in your first year. DHL Roofing also provides excellent benefits, including health, vision, dental, life, a generous 401k match, and so much more. For more information, visit DHL Roofing on Facebook today. Caitlin and Adrian, a just married couple that loves each other almost as much as I love windows. As a dedicated Pella window and door replacement advisor, I help guide them through our quality options and decide on the right choice for their style and budget. Right now, you can elevate the look of your home with special offers from Pella Indianapolis. Visit PellaIndianapolis.com slash radio to learn more. Technologists, this is your moment. Every organization out there needs you, and it's time to think about what you want. You know, the job you've always dreamed of? It's out there. And DICE, the premier career marketplace for technology professionals, can help you land it. Visit us at DICE.com to learn more. Arby's Chicken Cheddar Ranch Sandwiches are two for six every day of the week. For some people, just hearing the words ranch and chicken are enough to make them want two of them for six bucks. Well, okay then. Ranch, 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 creamy, ranch, cool, ranch, ranch, chicken, chicken, two for six. Arby's, we have the meat. At participating Arby's for a limited time. Steve Bertrand brings you Chicago's afternoon news every weekday, four till seven. Now back to the game. Back at the United Center, the Chicago Blackhawks with a 5-1 to one lead as we get late into the third period. 8.28 remaining. They will go on the penalty kill as Dylan Strom had a penalty late. And we went finally went to commercial as we waited. Yeah. We got that late red light. Uh, but we'll have a face-off in the Hawks zone to the right of Mark andre Fleury. And the Hawks will be killing the penalty. So for the Senators, this is their third power play opportunity on the night. And the draw won by the Hawks. McCabe will get some room from beside the Hawk net and drill it off the left boards and down. They heard Coach Colleton talk about the penalty kill and its success, and that's one of the things right there. You win face-offs in your zone, you usually get rewarded. The Hawks get a clear. Waste 20 to 30 seconds off of that kill. 140 left on the Senator power play. Here's Artem Zub. Back inside the Ottawa blue line. He'll start it up. Give it ahead to Connor Brown over the Hawk line on the right wing. Shoved into the boards by McCabe. Puck rides free. Taken back by the Senators in the slot. And now several players get their sticks on it at one time. Sanford corrals the puck at the left point. Here's Zach Sanford. X of the St. Louis Blues. Won a cup with the Blues in 2019. Makes it from the corner to the left point to Zub. Then down to the left wing half boards. This is Ennis, a sharp angle shot. Turned out of there by Fleury. Connor Brown's got the puck top of the right circle. Hawks zone behind the back pass to Zoo. Fed it left circle. Ennis shot it right through the crease. Puck caroms around. 48 seconds on the Senator power play. Ennis top of the left circle behind the back pass to Zoo. To Brown, top of the right circle. He fires and that hits Sanford who was cruising in front of the net. Puck deflects into the near corner. Kept in by the Senators. Zoo. Now to Brown, top of the right circle. The pass skipped over his stick blade. Taken away in the corner there by McCabe, and he'll clear it up the left side and down. Nice pressure from Brandon Hagel. The, the Hawks had spent a lot of time down there, but Hagel had a little more energy, put the pressure on Brown. He turns it over, and McCabe's able to clear. Here's Shabbat passing at center ice to Stutzla. And from in front of the Hawks bench, he'll wave the puck down the boards into the Hawks zone. And then Batherson got locked up at the blue line with Debrinket, and then Batherson turns it over. And Twistle to Debrinket over the line to the slot. Jones, he shoots, he just missed the net. Debrinket got it back in behind. To the left corner, and Twistle to Jones. Left point, sends it over to DeHaan, and he'll rag some time off the clock as the Hawks come back to full strength. And now DeHaan has the puck and the Hawk in. To Jones along the left board. Quick pass up the left wing, Kubalik in over the Senator line. Waves it down in behind the net. Taken out of there by Josh Brown. Who put it along the near boards. And there's Nick Paul. Dumping the puck off the end boards. Hawk zone. Bounces out. Flurry dives and Polk checks the puck out of the crease. 
Senators keep it alive. Zaitsev near the right point. Racing down to the right corner centers. That's off the skate of Formanton and over to Kane. He'll make a lead pass to Kirby Dock at center ice. And Dock will backhand one through the air to the left wing corner in the Senator zone. There to get it, Logan Shaw. He'll pass it ahead of center ice. This is picked off now by Gustafson, Hawk line. To Isaac Phillips in the Hawk zone. He collides with Formanton against the boards. Kane takes the puck, drops it down between the circles to Gustafson. Little bank pass on the right wing for Doc. Skitters by him and down into the center zone. Zeitz have a quick pass up by Stepal over the Hawk line, right wing. Tried to scoop a backhander in front. Picked off by Jake McCabe, who's knocked down from behind by Sanford. And Dylan Strom, who was out of the penalty box, has the puck through center ice. Over the center line. Reese Johnson for the right corner tried to center. That deflects back to Connor Murphy, right point. Spins it down behind the Sens net. Johnson left corner now to McCabe. A long shot from the left point. Sails wide of the Sens net. And in behind Zaitsev. Handing it beside his net. There to get it, Gambrell. To Sanford at center ice. Boston College product. Lost it at the Hawk blue line. Strome took it away. Gave it to Reese Johnson, who runs into a check there from Brown at the Senator blue line, but shovels the puck down behind the net. The Hawks make a line check. Yeah, really good back pressure from Dylan Strome, and that's the part of the game that you like to see from him because that means he's he's in it, right? And then his offense will come, but I think Coach Carlton likes to see plays like that from him because that, that means he's in the game and his offense will come one day, but Dylan Strome made a nice back check there. Now Hagel. Wins a battle for the puck along the near boards. Hawk in. Got it ahead to Carpenter over the center line. Threw it down the slot for Taves. The pass is just over his stick. In the near corner in the Ottawa zone. Puck taken by Josh Brown. Moves behind his net and moves it up the left wing side. Cleared ahead by Mete to Gambrell. Hawk line and he'll pin it down the boards and in behind the Hawk net to the far corner. Senators in a line change. They trail 5-1 to one with 340 left in the third. Seth Jones to center ice to Kurashev over the center line. A snapshot save is made with a stick there for Murray. Then a wraparound try by Hardman was turned out of there. And the puck is taken by Norris, and he'll clear it down. Not far enough for icing, but far enough for the Senators to get a line check. Yeah, really nice play there. Kurashev, I love seeing him shooting the puck, because I think that's something the Hawks would like to see. He's not hesitating. He's getting a good shot. He's got a nice, quick wrist shot. He really does. He's seen it a couple times tonight. It's deceptive, too. Like, he'll move into a position, and you're going to think he's going to pass, and then he gets that shot away, and a lot of times, you know, he, he can really challenge a goaltender. Several times beat him. Batherson into the Hawks zone. Down the right wing. Fired a shot, and Flurry looked like it hit the top of his head there and deflects up into the protective netting and out of play. 2.57 remains in this regulation period for this hockey game. The Hawks have a 5-1 to one lead, folks. I'm confident enough. I'm going to say it. Come on back for the Hawks' first win of the season right after this break on 720 WGN. Glenn Decker. Let's face it. There's nothing more attractive than a smart guy with a beard. Evenings at 7. Hosting during the holiday season is no small feat. In fact, it can be more stressful than enjoyable. But McAllister's Catering is ready to spread some cheer with options like sandwich trays and spud bars to dessert trays and tea gallons. And the best part? You can take all the glory without doing all of the work. It can be our little secret, like we're your elves. And if that doesn't put you in the holiday spirit, maybe $10 off your $100 order will. Just use code HOLIDAY21 from now to January 4th. Visit McAllister'sDeli.com to get started. That's for you. Answer the call from patients who need plasma. Donations are down, so give plasma at a Griffles Center and receive compensation. Visit grifflesplasma.com. That's the sound of one of my favorite customers ever. His name's Jeremy. His dad, Frank, called me when it was time to replace their drafty old windows and to take advantage of our limited time sale. As a dedicated Pella advisor, I make getting new windows and doors simple. And when it comes to installation, nobody does it like Pella. Our local team can typically install in just a day. Right now, you can elevate the look of your home with special offers from Pella Indianapolis. Visit PellaIndianapolis.com slash radio to learn more. Your friends are hosting an online viewing party to watch a soccer match. But if your slow upload speeds were to make you sound like an evil robot... Pass the ball. 
Pass the ball! Whoa, who is that? I'm sorry. You're not an evil robot. You just need better internet. AT&T Fiber delivers a faster internet experience with 25 times faster upload speeds and cable. Visit att.com slash 25 times faster. Limited availability in select areas. Based on internet 1000 wired upload connection speed versus major cable providers. One gig service with uploads of 35 megabits per second. Restrictions apply. We are back at it. the United Center, a good view United Center for the first time as we are 257 left in the game. It is 5-1 Chicago Blackhawks dominating this third period and, and getting number 88 to really get this place jumping tonight with a hat trick and an assist. Special player doing special things. So fun to watch. Any idea who might be the number one star of this game, Paul? I mean, just, you I, know, I just curious. Nothing comes to mind, yeah. actually. I'll think on it for a while. Okay, I'll, I'll get back to you. Yeah. If we get another commercial, I'll think on yeah. it real hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what it's going to take. We're going to need, yeah, okay, I we'll get Krista right on it. You know, we can debate a little bit if you'd like. Yeah. All right. In behind the hawk net, now Connor Murphy with a pass up the right wing to Patrick Kane. There's a hint. Hands it off to Kirby Dock, coming by at center ice, and he backhands the puck down off the glass and in behind the senator net. Victor Mete's got it there. 2-12 left in the third, 5-1 in favor of the Hawks. By the way, the senator's wearing their original sweaters, and I really like these. I think those are just beautiful. And now senators attack. Formanton flips the puck into the Hawks zone. Murphy plays it out to the blue line, kept in by Mete to Ennis. From the high slot, turns and fires. That's blocked, but a penalty will be called here to the Hawks, and tripping is the call. Yeah, I think Seth Jones reached out for the puck, but caught some skate blades, and he's going to, I think, go for a trip. Penalty number four, minor penalty for tripping. Yep, just got caught reaching. He's usually got that long reach for a good thing, but this time he got his stick caught in the skate blades of an Ottawa sender. And the Hawks are going to have to kill one more penalty with a buck 50 left. They'll be hopefully be on the penalty kill the rest of this game tonight. Well, they need to practice, right? Right now, 0 for 3 are the Senators on the power play. Play in the Hawks zone. Nice battle there by Taves to win the puck from a Senator. Put the puck between the circles, and McCabe will fire it all the way down. 145 on the Ottawa power play. Victor Mete passing at center ice to Stutzla. Moves it in over the Hawk line on the left wing to Kachuk. Hagel reaching in, strips it away, but kept in by Mete. Then Kachuk took it back at the line to the right circle. Here's a shot now from Norris over the Hawk net, around the glass, and back down to the Ottawa blue line. Hawks will take advantage and change up their penalty kill. Yeah, Norris missed that one by a good maybe three feet. He was really trying to rip it, get everything on it, and, and kind of got away from him and went three, three feet wide and went out of the zone and... A, a, a helpful clear for the Blackhawks penalty yep. kill. Now Han spins it behind the net. McCabe will drive it around the glass and down. 57 seconds left in this one. Artem Zub carrying to center ice. Gives it Annis. Crossing the Hawk line. Lost the puck to bring it the other way. Shorthanded. Why not? In over the center line. Flips it to the left circle for Doc. Oh, Doc rammed into the glass by Sanford with a vicious check. But he bounces back. And they play on. DeBrinket took it away, then he falls into the boards as he's tripped. And this is going to even up the sides. The teams will finish the night four against four. And so far, Alex DeBrinket a little slow to get up. And he looks like he's going to stay in there. Yeah, two good signs there. Both guys able to get off the ice. I mean, Alex DeBrinket there with the trip and... Zach Sanford put a big lick on Kirby Dock, but he was able to bounce up. The last thing you want to see in a 5-1 game with less than a minute to go is someone getting hurt. So good sign that both Blackhawk star forwards were able to get up and, and get off and look relatively healthy as they went to the bench. So Taves with a three assist night, and Patrick came with four goals and one assist. Here's Formanton in the Hawks zone. A wrist shot and a glove save made by Mark andre Fleury. Who then drops the puck in the near corner to Hardman, but the whistle had blown. <laughs> and Mark more Andre Fleury, right there for you. I'll tell you what, he, he has not dropped in any any respect in any way in his level of intensity and his will to win here tonight. And I'm talking about Fleury. You know, by this time of the game, he could very easily just go, ah, no, no, I'm not going to strain my muscles, but he was he's going to compete right to the end. I oh, love that. Oh, no, that's pride right there. He doesn't want anything left in that net, whether it's the last minute of a game or the last minute of practice, and Patrick Kane's working on it on something. He doesn't want to let anything in his net. You see it all the time 
and he wasn't letting that one. What are the, that was a Murray Bannerman-esque glove save. Uh, bring a name <laughs> back from the from the 80s, but with the yeah. pad split out, he gives the nice twirl, a little theater for the fans. I love it. Mark andre Fleury is so fun to watch, even when the game's not going on. He's doing all kinds of things in there, those crazy goalies. He's one of the beauties, definitely, in the NHL. Off the draw, here's Zub now at the right point, flipping the puck down between the circles, picked off by Kurashev to Phillips, to Hardman, right wing to the Senator blue line, and he paws the puck down into the far corner in the Ottawa zone. Mete's got it behind his net with 15. The crowd rises here at the United Center in anticipation of the Hawks' first win of the season, and boy, have they needed it. Down the right wing into the Hawks zone. A shot came in from Paul that missed the net. Two seconds, one, and for the first time this season, the Hawks win! Hawks win tonight! to one over the Ottawa Senators and the story of the night was Patrick Kane returning to the lineup there was some doubt he would even skate today but he took the morning skate he said he's ready to go and the coach Jeremy Colleton trusted him put him in the lineup and boy did Patrick Kane deliver three goals one assist and I don't see any way he's not the number one star in tonight's game good effort by the Hawks you see their record now improved to 1-7-2. and two. Took them 10 games to get that first win, Paul, but they got it done. And I've been waiting to finally say this Blackhawks victory is sponsored by VictoryAutoRecords.com. Victory Auto Records. That old car is worth money. Finally, let's do it more. I like that thinking. It's great to see all of the participants in this. Jonathan Taves played a large hand as well. Mark andre Fleury stopping 29 of 30 Ottawa shots here tonight. And, of course, Patrick Kane's heroics. And don't forget Brandon Hagel. Hagel had a pair of goals and working hard. Could have created a third. His hat trick will come another day. But here tonight, this was Patrick Kane's show. Let's pick up the three-star announcement right now. Of the, game. the number three-star of the game from the Blackhawks with two goals, number 38. Brandon Hagel. Quickly becoming a fan favorite is Brandon Hagel. The number two star of the game from the Blackhawks with 29 saves. Number 29, Mark Andre Fleury. Now that's encouraging to see too. Fleury getting a big hand from this partisan crowd and. And the number one star of the game from the Blackhawks with the hat trick and one assist. Number 88. Patrick Kane. Well, there it is. Patrick Kane donning a piece of the merchandise that you can get uh, at the Hawk store here inside the United Center wearing a, uh, a nice-looking lid. And he's going to put the headset on and have a quick conversation. Patrick Kane, the number one star here tonight with three goals and one assist. Paul and I will be back with more right after these messages. 5-1, the Hawks beat the Senators. This is Blackhawks Hockey on 720 WGN. Hosting during the holiday season is no small feat. In fact, it can be more stressful than enjoyable. But McAllister's Catering is ready to spread some cheer with options like sandwich trays and spud bars to dessert trays and tea gallons. And the best part? You can take all the glory without doing all of the work. It can be our little secret, like we're your elves. And if that doesn't put you in the holiday spirit, maybe $10 off your $100 order will. Just use code HOLIDAY21 from now to January 4th. Visit McAllister'sDeli.com to get started. Power a house full of devices with the fastest Wi-Fi, only from Xfinity. Now through October 31st, ask how to get a special offer of $300 back when you get gig speed internet. Or get started with up to 50 megabits per second download speed for $20 a month for 12 months with a one-year agreement. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless filling and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. New performance starter internet customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gig internet and XFi gateway. Actual speeds vary. The beloved fairy tale Rodgers and Hammerstein Cinderella comes to the Paramount Theater. Enter to win a night out with me, Dean Richards, including a VIP meet and greet and two tickets to the show Sunday, November 21st. Visit WGNRadio.com slash contests. Bob Surratt with the answers in the morning on smart devices everywhere and on 720. Now back to the game. John Whiteman along with Paul Caponegri and Joe Brand here at uh, the United Center. We just got through interviewing Patrick Kane, number one star of tonight's game. Three goals and one assist for a four-point night. He also in the process has passed Steve Larmer 
for third all-time in Blackhawks history in goals. And Dennis Savard for third all-time in Blackhawks history in total points. And, uh, I mean, what are you going to do for an encore after something like that? Some big names uh, in Blackhawk history that he's kind of just sliding by. And, and, man, and he's in his prime years still. And it's it's just going to be fun to see what's sure. next next game and then next year all the way for hopefully a long time more as he said on the ice staying on the subject let's talk about the next game it's the carolina hurricanes coming in and they beat the blackhawks six to three down in carolina and carolina had a lot of fun doing that and i think the blackhawks that's not that far away that's not that far back in the rearview mirror they remember that loss and let's say that uh, the the ill will that seemed to crop up at the end of that game uh, I think Wednesday night is going to be a very very interesting contest especially with Kane and Taves back in the lineup and my guess is Jeremy Colleton will go with Marc-Andre Fleury and goal yeah I you know that was a decision because they had back-to-backs that they went with Lankin in that night because they wanted to split those up but yeah I think Carolina is going to see a little bit of a different team especially now after a win Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, the confidence. You could see it. You could see it. You could feel it on the ice. You could see the players' actions. After you're seeing some plays that create goals and you're seeing pucks go in on those plays, you start feeling good. I mean, you've heard them talk about it. Like, hey, once we start, fe- you know, making plays and seeing results, you're, you're going to feel better. And you saw it tonight as it went on. So I'm excited for Wednesday to see the Hawks' reaction from that loss and their reaction from winning a game and gaining some momentum and, and confidence. Okay, this is just a wild guess, but <laughs> I, we gotta we got to handle this anyway, and we we're delighted to handle the first-choice equipment player of the game, Paul. Oh, you thought about ooh. this a long time, I know. I mean, we got an extra commercial. I, I was going to say, we can take that break it. and come uh, back. You, you, no, you know, Patty Kane, okay. 88, is the player of the game, and that is sponsored by... First choice equipment, Chicago's leader for Kubota, skills, skid steers, excavators, and track loaders. First visit first, you killing me. First choice equipment.com. You're killing me, why you? Sorry, you're folks. killing me. <laughs> that was Lou Saban back in the day. Got me laughing. All right, final Good score. To be smiling, right? That's right. 5 1, the Hawks beat the Senators. We'll be back with more right after this break on 720 WGN. The holidays are here, and so is the Road Trip Ready Checklist to get your vehicle ready for them. Advance Auto Parts has everything you need to knock out that list and make it safely over the river and through the woods. An oil change bundle with a premium filter, new wipers so you can see the road, and a free battery test to make sure your vehicle can handle the cold. Bring your road trip list across the finish line at Advance Auto Parts and participating CarQuest stores. We are back, and we are masked. Join me, Dean Richards, for my annual Tree Time Holiday Spectacular Sunday morning show broadcast. Get a 15% Dean's discount Sunday, November 14th, 9 to 1. Tree Time Christmas Creations in Lake Barrington. See WGNRadio.com slash events. As a roofer, you need accurate roof measurements, and you need them fast. GAF Quick Measure gives you single-family residence roof measurements in less than an hour. Learn more and order your first report today at GAF.com slash measure. More for your money. Andy Moore. It's a touchdown of savings at Andy Moore Ford. And we're kicking off the season with 0% APR financing on all new 2021 Ford F 150s. We make it easy to find the perfect truck at Indiana's largest Ford dealer for 20 consecutive years. Find your Ford this football season online at andymoreford.com. Stock number T35411. Zero down payment. 72 monthly payments at 1389 for 1000 borrowed. $199 fee excluded. Must finance through Ford Credit Financing. See dealer for full details. Expires 10 4 2021. Based on total rental and car truck sales. Report on new Fords in Indiana for 2020 for Ford Motor Company. The lady who's working hard to enrich your life, Anna DeVlantis, weekdays 1 to 4. Now, back to the game. Back one more time, John Weideman, Paul Caponegri, Joe Brand for Chicago Blackhawks Hockey. Hawks win tonight 5 to 1. Patrick Kane, third place all time in goals scored in Blackhawks history. Third place all time in points scored as well. What a night. The Hawks pick up their first win. They are now 1-7-2 and two and take on Carolina on Wednesday night. My thanks to Paul for a great job with the color here tonight. Big thanks to our Hall of Fame engineer. Everybody knows I'm talking about Paul Zarang. Give me a fist bump there, buddy. Thank you very much. Thanks as well to the hardworking crew at our flagship station tonight, led by Krista Flores, along with the Nash, Jimmy Nash. And thanks as well to all of the Blackhawk fans who 
came down to the United Center here tonight. You saw an exciting one. Please drive safely on your way home. See you back here on Wednesday night. Final thanks goes to our good friend Joe Brand, who got us through Blackhawk Central pregame, the intermissions. He's going to get you home in the Bitcoin of America, Chicago Blackhawks postgame show. That's it for now. From the United